ladies and gentlemen across the galaxy, let me hear ya! Oh! My gosh, the very best good-looking audience in this beloved galaxy. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Gungans, Droids, Keanu Mooney, Conan, another day. And our beloved empire, you, me, and all of the people. And today, we're going to be talking about Queel. What do we expect? I don't know. I'm expecting maybe some droid resurgence, the rise of the machines. Maybe a little bit of scoundrel action. Whatever the case might be, we're all together today. And we're going to have a grand all time. This is the way I have spoken. Get on over here, you crazy bunch of Mando looking people. How we doing? Woo! We got our boy Quill. Uh, I, I took a little glance at the kid as a little reminder. I'm like, uh, Gary, <laughs> what are you doing, Gary? Double notifications. Oh, my gosh. Uh, already, uh, already causing trouble. I took a little peeky peek at the kid again, and I think we might see a little bit of resurgence for the droids. Remember the rise of the machines meta we had a year ago? Maybe Queel before we see Mando and IG-11. We'll see a little bit of fun droids. So I'm not expecting too much today except the fun, the whaler fails, Mr. Arnold's neighborhood segments. We're gonna have a great time. There's no doubt about that. We're gonna probably do a little Kyber Club transition, get a little loose, talk about the baby. We're already getting a couple of amazing people in the chat. Woo! Fulcrum's age. I can't read your name, Mr. Adelasenko P. Ivan Satelli, Random Gamer, Toyota, Krusty Cream, King James, Darth Niles, Iran. You know what? The baby's around the corner, people. The baby is right around the corner. I feel like we got to get warmed up. We got to get those limbs moving. There's a reason why we mobilize armies because we're always on the tip of our toes. We're always getting loose in the Kyber Club. So real quick, people, little Kyber Club break to get this show on the road. Woo! Man, Mandalorian's back in town again, baby! Well, we gotta give a couple shots before we get this rolling. Steve Zark, greetings, Grand Admiral. Got my Django to Relic, Chewie to seven stars. And General Kenobi to 7th Earth in the last two days. Thank you for all the good advice. Thank you, Steve Zerk. Always great to see you around the Kyber Club. Dominating Tyler Sutt to the $2. Long live the Kyber Club. Woo! Give me an air horn for that. Chris Carver. Oh, hail the Empire. Too many hails going on around here. Matthew Roberts with the 10-pounders. Grand Admiral, the effort you put into your work makes the Empire proud, and you deserve these credits far more than the scoundrels at CG. I won't disagree. There's a little symbiotic relationship here, but let me tell you, when you're here, you're having a good time and always new content here. Blaze Walker, scoundrels unite! And then we have Hemfield Farm. Welcome to our Carver Club Platinum program. Get back over here. That was a little break. Bring him back. Wait, well, Gary, no, we're not. Gary, no, Gary. No, Gary, no. Does this look like the Kyber Club dance floor? Listen, man. We're, we're just getting started here. We're, in, we're going through the intro. 2.2 billion people tuning in for the intro. You got to be on your game, man. You got, we got whale or fail. Just if you're not feeling it, Larry's gonna take over, man. All right, people, let's get this rolling. Woo! The Himmel, Himmel Farm joined our Kyber Club Platinum program for my Platinum members. Right after this stream at 4 p.m. Central U.S. time, we're gonna be having our Mandalorian watch party. I left little notifications on the community page. If you want to join, we're gonna do a little Mando watch party. Make sure you get on Discord. So we can watch it, people. I'm looking forward to that. I got a little sneak peek and uh, 
not for the faint of heart, the new Mando episode today. Let me let me say that. If you got arachnophobia, I'll just leave it at that. I'll just leave it at that, people. And then Kuda says, Whale Harder, the 10 Canadian Bacons. Oh, boy. You know what? Should we just go straight into the Whale or Fail segment right now? Should we just go into the Whale or Fail segment? I don't know. Here's the thing. You know, maybe we'll... Do we go into Whale or Fail already? Do we go into Whale or Fail already and get this going? Uh, so here's the drill, people. Before we start going to Whale or Fail, a couple things to preface before we go crazy here. Part number one. Should you whale on these characters? I just live in Queel, that is. Well, firstly, as we heard yesterday, these characters are going to be Cantina Farms temporarily. And between this week and next week, you should have a three-star, give or take, I believe, Queel in IG-11. So it doesn't really seem like there's that much need to whale unless... You want to make sure whatever legendary is coming, they basically hinted that these characters are building up to something. They're going to be needed most likely for a legendary event, whether that's Moff Gideon. Some people are speculating best scar Mando. I'm leaning more towards Moff Gideon, of course. That's the only reason to wail on these characters. I don't really recommend people wail on this character. I don't suspect he'll be huge. But he might be kind of fun for the scoundrels and droids. But between the cantina farms that we're going to have for these guys, as well as more shards next week, eh, probably no need to wail. But we're wailing so we can start testing right away. So you guys know what you're going to be getting into. The Nikita. How are we doing, Mr. Gorbatov with the 100 rubs? I finally managed to catch the stream on live. Hey, Kyber Clough. Man, Nick, it's been a little bit of time. Been a little bit of time. I'm Bonzi guy, my dude. For the Empire. Thank you for your $5 beloved super chat. And let's do two more. Man, you, you guys in the chat are freaking amazing. Did I just say that? Are we going to Whaler 5? Are we going to... I read someone's comment. Whale at 5. Whaler fail live at 5. I have them all. Let me tell you, man. That's the best combo right there. We gotta, we gotta start getting. We gotta, I told you the rid the first whaler Phillips. I wanted to get mobile gamer on. That would have been the ultimate crossover right there. And then Spencer Studios, you are the best great admiral with the five dollars super chat to ever live. Now that's you guys. If I, it was, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. Let's let's get this straight. Let's get this straight. You guys are the best ever. But I'm the best grand admiral. Mm, probably the yeah, that's that's factual. But you guys are the best ever. And then Anthony the five zero first before we get started. In our Whaler Fail, we got to take a little trip to Arnold's Empire before we get to the Whaler Fail segment here. Anthony, the 501st Commander with the 999 Super Chat. Great to see you. I saw the kit. It's pretty good. So is that mug? No. Uh, it's Jawa Juice. That's, that's a Jawa Jug? Ah! You guys missed it. The biggest and greatest mug this galaxy's ever seen. I'm trying to find a way to mass produce these three people and get, like, something on the front. Some Jawa Juice. A baby Yoda, I don't know, we gotta be careful of that kind of stuff. But man, ooh. Ah! All right, people, my soul has been quenched. By the way, your Imperial strategies, along with some modifications from me is making me dominate, so thanks. That's exactly what I wanna hear to Anthony the Five of First Commander. Oh, Kyber Club on the mug, yeah. I gotta just find someone who can mass produce two liter mugs. Literally, this is like a two liter mug. I filled up with two liters of Jawa juice before we got this started here. But people, you know, we're just going to go into the Whaler Fail. We're going to start after Whaler whale Fail with three-star testing since everyone should get a three-star character for free next week. So we're going to do three-star viability, and then we're going to go crazy with seven stars. But let's do Will or Fail right now, people. But before that, we got to take a little trip to Mr. Arnold's neighborhood, people. Come on, little boys and girls. Today's word of the day is whaling. What does that mean? Well, I guess you're going to have to just wait and find out, people. All right, people. Get your boys and girls together. Gather on the campfire because we're going to have a beautiful day in our empire. Ah! It's a beautiful day in our empire. A beautiful day for an empire. Are you a rebel? Are you a rebel? It's a beautiful day to wail today. It's a beautiful day, wouldn't you say? Unless you're a rebel. Unless you're a rebel. I have always wanted to slay rebels like you. Don't you rebels dare roll up to my hood. Let's make the most of this character today. Where the heck Gary is my robe sash? It's a great day to be. It's a great day to be. It's great to be in the empire. 
Oh, boys and girls, today's word of the day is whale. Do you guys know what it means to be a whale? It means a grown adult who likes to overpay for a free-to-play experience to dominate all the little boys and girls that like to play a lot. Are you guys ready for whale or fail? We gotta get all Gucci'd up. Change the Imperial Tactical Scanners. Get these. Oh, yeah. This, I'm feeling it, people. Today, we are gonna be getting 330 shards. I'm feeling it, people. Are you guys feeling it? Oh. <sighs> Dripping in the Gucci. Next up, we gotta get, I was hoping to be fully changed by the end of the song, but unfortunately, Gary always has technical difficulties. It's our first time running Mr. Arnold's neighborhood. I'll cut him a little bit of slack. We're almost done, little boys and girls. Don't you worry. You gotta get the Relic Crocs on. Almost there, hold on. We gotta make sure you, the kids see the Relic Crocs. Hold on, Relic Crocs. We can't do whale or fail without them. All right, there we go. All right, all right. Are you guys ready to get this show on the road? It's time, ladies and gentlemen, for whale or fail. Ladies and gentlemen, Gunk and the Droids across the galaxy. This is your Grand Admiral Otto, director of the Video Gaming Division, here at the Galactic Empire, dripping in the Gucci for YouTube's favorite show, Whale or Fail. Critically acclaimed, not a single soul in this galaxy, wouldn't you say, that hates this show? Woo! Quill is on the table today. We got a couple of amazing things to talk about before we get a little too crazy into the show. Some pack changes happen. Some Player friendly, I can't say free to play friendly because this is really whale territory that we got going on here. Oh, look at this. $9.99, they brought back the cheap packs. Look at this, people. $9.99, so much better. Makes me feel so much better about this because if you guys remember, for about a year now, they've been doing packs like these, $20, which isn't completely horrible because they give you a little bit of crystals, but I've always been a fan of getting a character to at least four stars for $10. So we're bringing it back, people, to $9.99. That's fantastic news, point number one. But remember what I said, this character in IG level will be temporarily cantina farmable. Don't know when or where. Well, we know where, but we don't know when. But furthermore, did you, do you guys see this? Do you guys see this? There's no five or seven anymore, people, which means whale or fail is gonna be less painful. Can we see the, the pr pack probabilities? Hold on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me the numbers, show me the numbers. What do we got? Yeah, open, download. Oh, what is this? Open up, open, 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 open. Open, open, open. Can I open it? What? Can't open file? Well, take my word. I actually took a little sneak peek at the pack probabilities. And the great thing is, the averages aren't gonna look all that bad. So I'm hoping today is gonna be the 330 day because let me tell you it's been over a year since we've had a 330 pull are you guys ready for whale or fail let me bless the chat bless the chat real quick with our whale of cory in the name of the kraken whale and the holy players let's do this actually it was r and jesus i always mess this stuff up too much stuff happening i got a couple of crystals in the back we got 5900 crystals Let's hope we don't have to do too much whaling today. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to get this going? People, hit that like button. Hit that like button. We got 3.5 billion people across the galaxy. I only can get the good RNGs if you summon him through the like. So here we go. Pack number one. We're going to slow it down. We're going to slow it down. Hold on. Give me the sound effects. And all right, 10, 10. All right, all right. We're going to start with this and then hopefully... We'll do the third, we'll do the $10 pack towards the end. Maybe we'll get lucky and we don't need to buy it. Whale or fail, the bank says 10. I'll take it way better than seven or fives. Let me tell you, the seven or fives, my gosh, it is nails on a chalkboard. We can only get seven or five, right? We can open up one more pack. Come on, don't make me whale anymore. Come on, please, please, please. We'll play nice and slow. All right, we got 10. Uh, all right, all right, all right. It's all right, relax. It's okay, people. Do a little power stance. Move those hips around. That's okay. This is only part one. It's only part one of our Whaler Fail series here. We got a whale just a little bit more. All right, here we go. We're going for the big hundo, sending it. What's this? 
Yo, what's going on here? What's going on here? Is my, is my, is our Kyber Club, cr uh, apparently our Kyber Club credit card is just too dang powerful. All right, well, let's keep it going. Holy cow, we got a 50 big one in the chat. Here's five whale or fail polls from Blaze Walker. Sponsored by Blaze Walker and the Kyber Club today. Holy cow. Woo! Luckily, we got a little break there. See, look, perfect timing, Blaze Walker. Can we just, come on, can we load up the game a little bit faster? Come on. Goodness gracious, man, this show. We got to keep our perfect ratings, people. All right, try it again. We're going to send it to the bank. All right. And the bank says it's a whale. Give me a little round of applause, people. Woo! All right. They wanted to check the credit card first. They had to check your credit card statement to make sure you're eligible for a 330 shard pull. Here we go, people. Come on, big money, big money. Come on, come on. Give me some money. Give me some money. It's no whammies. Big cash, big rings. 12. All right, we'll take it. We're going to speed this up a little bit. What do we got? Oh! Mom, get the camera. No, hold on, hold on. Oh! Guys, can we document this? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Can you guys get a good angle of this? Hold on, hold on. Whoa! So far, so good, people. Oh my gosh, Whaler Fail's gonna get so much better. Keep it rolling, big money, people. One for the show, two for Papa Team, three for Vader, and go, 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 come on. All right, 12. Woo, woo. You feeling the jitters, people? You feeling that adrenaline rush? Woo! -wee. That's mobile gaming experiences right here. All right, come on, do it again, do it again. 10, all right. Keep it coming. So far, I'm feeling good. I haven't, had, I haven't had anything over 20 in literally decades. Come on, 10, no, no, no. More, more. Oh! Gary, get the camera! Holy cow! Woo! Oh my gosh, these packs got so much better! Woo! Oh, baby, baby, baby! Woo! Oh, honey boo, honey baby. Woo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm pretty good at this game, as you guys can see. Holy cow! This is great! This is what Whaler Fail is supposed to be! This is the best whale that we've had so far for character openings in ages how many shards is that hold on how where are we right now 259 <sighs> what do we gotta get we gotta get through we got hold on let's just keep opening i don't care whale or fail give me another adrenaline rush holy cow this is so much better wow so much less painful i think we just gotta go to 300 right i think we just gotta go to 300 we'll double check in a bit is that it one more one more one more. All right, I'm gonna stop there. I think we're all Gucci people. Holy cow, we need 305. Probably should have bought the $10 pack at this point. All right, we're just gonna buy the $10 pack, but I kind of want to, no, 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 wait. Let's not get greedy. RNG just has smiled upon us today. There we go, it's better just to buy this. Here we go, we need 305, 305. Setting it to the bank, and the bank's gonna wrap up this show. Holy cow! With a with a whale! Wow! 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 That was one of our best pulls we've had since Arc Trooper. Arc Trooper, I think, was the last time, or Sith Trooper Hawks. I can't remember. It was some character last year, but there we go. <laughs> we should have done this a little bit earlier, but we got too greedy at those packs. Wow! If I could say so myself, people, I think today was definitely a whale of a show. Wouldn't you guys agree? Hey, let me hear it, huh? Yeah, we're gonna bump up the three stars, do our three star testing, and then we're gonna do some seven star testing later. But everyone should be getting a three star quill for free by next week. Unless you're making a video or you're impatient, there's no need to wail like we did today. But wow, Woo! I am incredibly happy with today's performance. But real quick now, we gotta dress back into our Imperial uniform and we're gonna get this show back on the road from the biggest and deadliest Star Destroyer. <sighs> Stay tuned, people. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh, play the song. Play the Mr. Arnold's Neighborhood for a second. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the song. There we go. Let me just dress back real quick, little boys and girls. So I hope you guys learned 
the power of whaling. If you talk to your parents today, perhaps wiggling the conversation of whaling, they'd be very impressed with your vocabulary, ladies and gentlemen. Mommy and daddy, if you ever want to participate with the Grand Admiral Arnold, all you guys need, all you guys need when you play Galaxy Heroes is those three wacky digits on the back of your mom or dad's credit card. One more time, people. Woo! It's a beautiful day for Whaler Phil. A beautiful day for whaling. Did you wail? Did you wail? Ooh, your credit card in the empire's full today. The bills are coming, but who cares? Man, the rhyming's great. The rhyming's great. Woo! In the empire you have unlimited wealth. Are you a rebel that's hiding in stealth? Man, the lyrics, they're just... We gotta write some lyrics down. If anyone's got ideas, let me know. Because let me tell you, it's great to be. It's great to be. Great to be in the empire. There you have it, boys or girls. Thank you for stopping by in Arnold's neighborhood to do a little bit of whale or fail. And remember, a credit card not maxed is a life not enjoyed. Thank you guys so much. All right. How was it? I had a good time. That was the fastest pack opening we did in ages. Normally, we got to spend like 30 minutes banging our head up against the wall. And that went pretty dang good. Except maybe the song. We got to come up with some lyrics for our song. But we're back in. We got one croc on. Other one we're missing right now. But no fret. Let's actually get to the testing, shall we? <laughs> wow, that was whale or fail today. See, when I, when I started thinking of doing a game show for our pack openings, I was expecting more of an experience like that. But finally, hopefully these packs stay here because these packs are way better. Let me actually, does anyone actually have a link to the, the probability so I could show it? But the probabilities are way better. And I actually got a couple of comments before the stream. Other people getting tons of 80 shard pulls. So I know it wasn't just me. There's some people out there that got it as well. Woo All right, let's make sure I didn't miss anyone while we were too busy. Putting on a show for the Empire, Tucker T2, new member to our Carbo Club. Give him an air horn. I missed the random Arnold Schwarzenegger clips you had in your old videos. Where'd they go? Ah, oh, that's a long story. Long story. We'll just, we'll implement them through my voice. You know, crush your enemies. See them driven before you. And hear the lamentation of the women. I basically don't want to use someone else's uh, personality. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't want to get into a long conversation, but trust me. Arnold Schwarzenegger still plays a very important role in the inspiration for the channel and of course the channel name if you guys don't know an exile gone 499 okay this may seem dumb but how do you join the kyber club down below below the video if you're on mac or pc you'll see a join button or if you're on mobile or ios i should say here's a link right here where you can join our kyber club early access to some videos some fun posts later on today our platinum members we're gonna be doing a mando watch party and then Blaze Walker, thank you so much for the $50. We only spent, what, 130 on that character? That was drastically lower. Normally, it's two, 300, 280 plus dollars for a character. That was way lower than usual. And I actually overwheeled. Like, I wanted to kind of keep pulling the packs and see what we'd get. That could have been way less than $100. See, wow, wow, wow. Spencer Studios, welcome to our Kyber Club. And Anthony, the 501st Commander, again at the 499. What a wonderful day to be an Imperial. Won't you be one? Could you be one? Yes. We got to work on a song. We're, we're, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. You know, everything's off the cuff here. Are you guys ready to actually play the game now? I know I showed how great I was of whaling, but a part of the game is actually playing the game. So let's go gear them up. As I said, we are going to start with low start testing. I got Blaze, not Blaze Walker, uh, Dark Curious. They said they were available to help us do some testing. I'm not expecting much, but I want to see if we're going to bring back some droid viability to our team. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for, because uh, it's been a while since t 3 4 has been useful. So let's get this puppy up. We're going to... Let me double check the Zeta here. We're going to double check the Zeta and see if it's worth giving. Here we go. Let's start upgrading this puppy. Beautiful. 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 How high can we go? Let's hope. I've been hoarding gear for a while, so we shouldn't need to buy. All right. Beautiful. Yeah, and people ask, what do I do at when I have all the characters? I basically hoard gear. So when I make videos, I can not have to worry about buying gear. That's what I do with my farming. Beautiful. Perfect. I have spoken. This is the big boy ability on Quill right here. Uh, and the Zeta is on his unique. Correct? Yee. 
It is on his unique ability, but this is... Oh, wow. This is a very good Omega. Holy cow. That's a lot of stuff for an Omega ability right there. Scoundrel and Light Side Allies get Mechanic Savvy. And then the droids get the offense and the revive. It's Light Side droids only revive, right? Light Side, yeah. Light Side droid allies can only get the Mechanic Savvy. So we can't revive Grievous, but we can revive T3 and 4, BB-8, RTD, which means more Grievous Metalloid Monster... Not, yeah, Metalloid Monstrosity. Food. And then Frontier Wisdom. This is the Zeta, right? Hey, Jonesy19, there we go. Welcome to our Kyber Club, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your beautiful emotes. Flex some whale or fail in the chat. Is this worth getting? At the start, other. Oh, yeah, that's. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's great. Uh, this is going to be very important for IG11. I've saved my Zetas just for this, so we're going to give IG11 one and Queel. This is going to be huge because keep in mind, IG11 is going to be one of the highest health characters they said in the interviews and whatnot, and Galaxy Rose, and this, obviously not gonna be as powerful of Queel at three stars, because it's scaling based off his stats, but still, nonetheless, um, it's gonna be pretty good, I think. That's gonna be pretty good. The droids are back in time. We're gonna see, Bendik. We're gonna be, yeah, that, that was, this is a great Omega. I have spoken, that's a very good Omega. Right, there. that's a lot of stuff. That could They could have sold it as a Zeta right there. They could have easily made this character a double Zeta. So happy it's not a double Zeta character. All right. Let's do this. Uh, what mods? What do we get to mod this character for? Ah, uh, let's take a little. Let's do a little brief reminder. We got burning on the basic, and uh, voltaic shock to deal special damage. We want to stun them for one turn. Inflict shock speed down for three turns. If the target is already burning, inflict expose. If the target already had shock, inflict shock for three turns. Okay, so potency might be kind of good for this character. Can that be resisted? Yeah, this could be resisted. It seems like an eye has spoken. So it seems like. This is going to be a character we might want to max out on health or protection. I think we're probably going to want to go health for IG-11, assuming IG-11's got amazing health synergies. And uh, maybe health and potency. Health and potency, I'm saying you guys are kind of <laughs> accuracy arrow. I still have that accuracy arrow. This is a, a Kyber Club legendary accuracy arrow right there. <laughs> That's our Darth Sidious arrow. We still got, oh my gosh, I still, I got so many videos to make. I still got to make the videos on the, the summary of how to beat the uh, uh, tiers one through six for the both new events. At least people are watching the live streams. It seems like they're getting the info. Uh, Delta with a $20 super chat. Thank you so much. Who do you think the legendary will be that requires the five Mando characters? P.S. I really enjoy your content. Well, I really enjoy you guys being here. Uh, I've said in a couple of videos, even before uh, we started getting these characters in the game, I was like, uh, I feel like we're building up the Moff Gideon. And I think that's going to be the legendary character. Moff Gideon, because they said, follow the arc of the story and you're going to know what these five characters are needed for. And as I always said, well, these five characters, they were together when they're fighting Moff Gideon. We're past spoilers. It's a year. We're past spoilers. So I'm almost certain it's going to be Moff Gideon. But some people, I see a few saying Beskar Mando. I don't think that's the case. Why would we have two Mandos in the same year? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And then TD, welcome to the Kyber Cup Elite Program. I'm, I'm so excited to have the new notifications for you guys. Hopefully next week. Hopefully next week. I made the sound effects yesterday and our Imperial Engineers are working their magic. So we're going to... Yeah, let's see. We're going to see. We're going to do health and potency. Now, keep in mind, one of the biggest drawbacks of being a under seven stars is you can't use. You cannot use your six dot mods. But I think Quill, being a support character, we might be able to get away with that. Okay, I don't think we're going to. Yeah, we're, I don't think we're going to use Watt Tambor for now. Actually, we'll. All right, I don't think we're using Watt Tambor. Too. We might be able to find some funny combo with Grieve. Ooh. No, Watt only revives Dark... Oh, man, imagine if Watt could revive any droid allies. He only revives Dark Side droid allies or Separatist, I believe. That would have been great. Chris Moorcroft, welcome to our Kyber Club. Thank you guys so much. You guys... Did I say you guys are an amazing audience? <laughs> I'm just saying. I think you, no one comes close to this audience here. Let me tell you. You guys are freaking amazing. Defense. What is that? Uh, protection. Let's see. What do we have here? Defense, defense, protection. I want to go for... I want to have the retin... Uh, Potency? All right, let's do some potency. We did say we want a lot of potency on him. And then, no, no crit chance. I want some here. We have someone with health. Let's see if we can narrow it down to health or... Oops, oops, oops the wrong side. Health. Protection. What do we got? Uh, not a lot of speed. All my good mods are six dots, unfortunately. And we don't need Chewie's mod. I want to have speed for this pepperoni up here. And we need a health. Uh, we'll keep droid... I, wanna, I don't want to mess with our droids much because we might use them a lot today. There we go. 266, oh, that's respectable for not having six dot mods. That's pretty respectable. Keep in mind, we're missing out on a lot of speed from the extra gear piece at gear 12, so we, he's not going to be as fast as he could be, but I think for three stars, it's probably the best we're going to get. 
to get this uh, show rolling. And Drainer Revit, hello there. I'm glad to be a member of the Empire. Got four holds with new lead, Relic 7 Dooku, Relic 7 Ness. That's a deadly combo. Happy to watch Mando after the stream. I'm excited for it as well. What is the program you can use to get extra money when you use your credit card? Oh, Google Play Points. Uh, there's two things. Google, I, I made a whole video about how to get money back when you're wailing on uh, any mobile games. Let, listen, it's a fact of life. I know some people don't like people wailing, but it's going to happen. Let's try to have them save money. Google Play Points only through Android. Make sure you sign up for the Google Play Points. And uh, Loot Cakes, one of my sponsors a couple months ago. I saved quite a few uh, bucks doing that. And then if you use a credit card, some banks offer cash back. Those are the three ways to save money. And some people said there's Google surveys you could do. Mmm. Man, the Jawa juice, that's strong today. Strong. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to hop over to Galactic Challenges first. Um, hold on. Are we playing at... This doesn't look... This doesn't look 120 million FPS. You guys want to know a fun trick? People have been asking me, how have I been able to get Blue Stacks to run high FPS? Because remember, after Unity, they busted it. It's a weird trick. It's a weird trick that I kind of came up when I was like, I was messing around because I need to play at high FPS. It looks better. So first things you got to do is you got to end... You got to excel. Here's what... Yeah, so there, oh, it already worked. Okay, it already worked. See? For some reason, if you're noticing you're not playing at over 30 frames per second on blue stacks, all you got to do is you got to just... Re you got to toggle off display FPS. The toggle it back on and it'll work. I don't know what it does, but it works, people. So I've been getting a lot of questions. Uh, how do I... How, do, how, how have I been getting high FPS lately? That's the reason. You just got to keep refreshing it. I don't know why. I don't know why. Arnold, your mods? What happened to my mods? Did I not get a full set properly? Let's double check. Oh, yeah, we go. We gotta get, okay, good call. Good good catch. Good catch. Good catch. Good catch. Yeah, I went too... Little too hard. Little too hard with the, the health sets. Beautiful. Uh, there we go. I'll take that. We'll take off the potency. There we go. Yeah, that's not that much of a difference anyways. There we go. All right. Good catch. Good catch. Good catch. I'm a fool. I know. I'm a fool. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. So much better. So much better. It's sad. I only can stream at the 60 FPS to you guys, but I'm playing at like 240 right now. So we're going to hop over to Navarro and we're going to just play around. I just want to get a feel for his kit first before we go too crazy. Before we go a little too crazy. So this used to be the droid rise of the machines meta, the nuke meta. Some people call it the suicide squad that we had last year. And where would we put in? Man, every droid, he played a really important part on this lineup. Who would we take out for Queel? Where's our boy Queel? <sighs> there was such a mechanical order. Grievous was kind of the main damage dealer. Maybe we could pull out IG-88 and just go Grievous lead, maybe? Maybe? We're going to go into Arena in a moment. Let me actually message Darth Curious to still make sure he's sticking around right now. Um, can you put skills in? I'm going to ask if he can put Geos in. We're going to do like one battle here. And then we're going to move on over to Arena. And then we're going to start for like a Genosian team. And then we'll see if maybe we can make something work without Grievous. Where's my scoundrel? Where are you at, boy? Quill! There he is. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Mitch Shops, the $10. Oh, here's some lyrics. It's a beautiful day in this empire. A beautiful day for an emperor. Would you join mine? Oh my gosh, this is good. Uh, would you join mine? Could you join mine? It's a powerful day in this galaxy. Unleashing unlimited power in this galaxy. Oh, I love it! We're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to write those down afterwards. We're gonna have to write those down afterwards. Woo. IG-88, that, that was great. I gotta, I gotta remember those. Uh, we need light side droids, that is true. Uh, so this is light side, light side. What if we took our, right, here, here we go, let's do this. Let's take out probe droid. We need light side droids. So we can do C-3PO, R-2, oh! Oh my gosh, 3PO and Chewie, that's droid. l 330 oh boy. We have a lot of fun combos, for sure we need, I'm gonna, let's try this just real quick. Let's just do this real quick. We're going to try this. See what we get going. The, oh, here's the thing. I love the new format with adding these characters to Galactic Challenges. So long as they make them Cantina Farmable a little bit later, I'm a big fan of this. But the only complaint that I miss with marquee events is that they would at least kind of give you like a, a little lesson at the very beginning how to use them for people. That's like the only thing I miss because you don't get it here. Let's move the camera so we can watch Queel. Let's go ahead. Roll around a little bit. Oh, our team might be a little too slow. Wow, not even enough Terminator to get us going. Okay. So here's the eye of spoken. All allies recover health. That's going to be fantastic here. Uh, of Quill's, 20% of Quill's max health and protection equal to 20% of Quill's max protection doubled for droids and scoundrel allies. Scoundrel allies gain 25% turn meter. Scoundrel and light side droids gain mechanics. So we have to do that right now. He's almost like a Jawa. 
Oh, he doesn't say I have spoken. Oh, maybe he did. I will listen to it later on. Okay, so here we go. We're going to open up with this. Mm, I don't know if I want L3 here, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. Well, we're going to play around with this, uh, just testing the waters. Let's see. We're going to go after Vader here. Good hit. Let's uh, do our little taunting shenanigans. Okay, do a little droid wiggle. Okay. Okay, and this right here, this gets the burning going, right? Right, right. Shock, speed down. And this is, has this has the stun. Okay, let's do that. Mm, yeah, we're definitely going to need to work on the potency, it seems like. Get the taunt rolling. All right, come on. This is only, what, tier five? Oh, boy, big damage right there. We're going to go up a couple more tiers and see what happens. Uh, but basically, it should be game, set, match. Here. Let's go get a death trooper out of here. Oh, they got Queel. Oh, that. <laughs> well, basically, that, that test of our. Let's finish rolling it. Poggle lead? Oh, yeah. But who's going to do the damage? That's the only question. Because Grievous does all the damage on a droid team. Huh. I don't know. Yeah, Queel, I didn't, I didn't have a... Uh... I didn't have uh I didn't hear any sound for Quill. All right, let's let's go to the next tier. Yeah, cuz uh here's the thing, we got to keep the, the team relatively light side droid. And man, what's his total health and protection? My goodness, he's going to be a little flimsy at 3 stars. If he stays alive, I su I suspect it should be all right, but him being frail, he died really quickly. Lobot? The qu but again, who's going to do the damage? Someone has to do the damage on the team and frankly, maybe 3PO and Shuey. Let's see. Hold on. Let's just take a look at our droids again. Da, 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 da. I love this song. Scandroid has an amazing song for the Star Wars theme. Um, oof, yeah. Lobot lead. Yeah, but uh, we just need... Someone's got to do the damage. You know what I mean? Chopper. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. JTR. J JTR and droids. Yeah, that was kind of a thing of the past for sure. IG-11 will do all the damage. Yeah, the, that is true. IG-11 could be a damage there. I don't know what's his damage going to look like. He seems more of a taunting character. Three pock in place of BB-8, but man, BB-8's got all the turn meter. He's got all the turn meter. I don't have my chopper geared up. I see a lot of chopper talk. See, I don't mind gearing up maybe a droid. I don't know if chopper is a droid I want to gear up to test. Here, let's see if Darth curious has got a Geo team for us. Let's double check real quick. Let's double check if he got a... Uh, let's hope he gets back. I messaged him. He said he should have a lunch break right about now, but maybe the lunch break is over. We, we might be stuck in galactic challenges all day, which would kind of suck. It's not really a great place to test. Not really a great place to test. HK47. Yeah, the thing is, again, uh, just someone needs to do all the work. Someone, Grievous carries this, but let's, we'll try it. We could try, but then no, uh, all right, let's just do, let's give it a shot. Let's take out Grievous. Take out Grievous. Let's just see what this does. Hater Cell would be good, yeah. There's a lot of droids that could be good. I just don't know how good are we expecting this team to be. I mean, I'm not expecting the world to part. All right, let's see. Come on, Quill. Let's get in here, buddy. Okay, let's do that. Okay, get rid of the... Get some debuffs going. All right, so here, let's just turn off the music for a second gear. Let's see. Does he say I have spoken? Hold on. Nah. I was hoping he'd say I have spoken, kind of like how we have the little 3 PO voices. Ah. Uh, Missed opportunity right there. Missed opportunity, I feel like. All right, come on. Get some counters there. Uh, man, without Grievous, I'm not sure if this is going to get much done. And the problem is, I believe uh, Mechanic Savvy can be dispelled. So that's another problem we're running into right now. CLS, Chewie, Han, and Quill. Ah, uh, there are some scoundrels on our team. Yeah, this isn't going to go well. Yeah, they keep going after Quill. I don't even get a chance to try to revive anybody. Yeah, you need Grievous, I think. I think Grievous is probably going to be needed for this. If you want to do a droid lineup, that is. Like, if you want the best droid lineup. Hopefully, we get my buddy, Darth. Oh, he's doing it right now. Perfect. Okay, let's try it one more time here. Try one more time with Grievous. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about Quill's low star viability, especially if we need him to stay alive to revive the team. I'm, I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit worried. IG-88 shreds. Yeah, IG-88 might be a good opportunity as well. All right. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Quill. All right. Maybe we should wait here because uh, this is the uh, dispellable buff. Let's wait. We're going to wait for a second. 
Let's see if we can go get a stun. Okay, there we go. We got the stun and shock. There we go. We got a buff, so we should be fine here. All right, come on, probe droid. Do your thing. Oh, my gosh. Tarkin just wrecked us right there. Oh, boy. I mean, to be fair, these higher galactic challenge tiers are a bit tricky. Let's see if we got a Geo team. He said he's going to do it in a sec. I think we got to just go straight to normal PvP battles. It's a shame that... It's a shame that Galactic Challenges is so close to a sandbox, but it really isn't at the same exact time. It really isn't the same exact time. I mean, we do got to check out the Chupio and Ness combo. I think Ness is going to be really good. Really good. With uh, Quill. But again, Quill needs to stay alive as long as possible. And I think there's... While we wait for Curious to plan some teams for us. I'm not going to gear him up, most likely. Uh, but if you guys have Kira... I think there's going to be a lot of potential with Kira, Tools of the Trade, especially with all these stacking bonuses, like maybe Kira, Nest, Quill, Zalbar Mission or something like that. That could be interesting. No droids on the team, but uh, that could get interesting. Or L337, so you have the droid. I think uh, I'm not going to gear her up because I'm not expecting this team to be amazing. But it would be cool. All right, cool. We got a Geo team. Let's get some cool stuff going here. What about the old IG-86? We could... We could try Cobra Jetta with the 20 SCKs. Thank you so much. Let's do it. Let's get some real testing in. Galactic challenges, uh, I can't learn much. I mean, let me take them. I will let you play another. Again, big shout out to my shard mates. Without my shard mates, it'd be impossible to test stuff out. So really, this stuff is possible because of you guys supporting the channel so we can test these characters with the, the monetary aspect. And a big shout out to my shard for helping us out so we're gonna try this first we're gonna do this but i want to see if we can compose a droid or scoundrel team without grievous but just for the sake of let's see what it does let's give it a shot we'll do l337 uh what do we do we did uh was it art no it wasn't art and we have t3 and 4 t3 and 4 for the damage and then we'll bring in quill i don't think he did he, he should have the, the scoundrel tag but he needs a tag nonetheless yeah so one vault the seven star quill yeah it was a cheap whaler fail today I don't know if that's going to be the experience for everyone. I will say it probably won't be, but the drop rates are so much better. Mathematically, the packs are the same cost. I believe $12.99 is before. So mathematically, characters should be a bit cheaper, even if you only hit 10s. Because before, packs were $12.99, and uh, you would get like 5 or 7 at the worst. So it should be cheaper to get marquee characters now. Hopefully, that's the drill going forward. Let's see what this does. Ugnot tag. Yeah, well, why don't we have an Ugnot tag at this point? All right, RT2 might be great, too. It's just a matter of who do we place in here. But we're going to goof around of Grievous for a second. See what we can pull off. Uh, this boy, our turn order is really up. We needed L. We needed T3 and 4 to go first here. But oh, well. Let's do it. All right. Beautiful. Let's go ahead. Get some burn or whatever. The, that going. Okay. Unfortunately, he doesn't give the turn meter to the droids. He gives it to the scoundrels, right? Yeah, scoundrels gain 25% turn meter, which is going to be great for Mando. And uh, Grief Karga, that's for sure. But here we go. We're going to do it nonetheless. Let's hope... Um... All right, here. Oh, oh, big hit. It's working. <laughs> so you just need a droid that's going to carry all this. Let's see if we can make this work without Grievous. Because if you can make this work without Grievous, that'd be pretty big. I mean, wow, we just blew through that. But it all, comes, it all just comes down to Grievous doing his thing. All right, let's see. I think we're going to be able to carry this. But I want to try to get a revive. That's really what I want to try to do. But let's get rid of the buff the spell. Because that's going to ruin our mechanic savvy. No stun, unfortunately. Yeah, it's too bad that mechanic savvy is a dispellable buff here. Let's go ahead and uh, cover up Grievous for the moment. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's, you know, let's just get rid of the spy. Actually, I kind of want her to die. Get it. There we go. Grievous just carries this all the way. Holy cow. All right, let's see. Let's see. I don't think we're going to even get a chance to test out the revive here. We might not even get a chance. That's a that's a weird looking animation right there. That's a weird looking <laughs> animation. Let's, hold on. I want to do that again. What, what, what the heck is that? was a... Hold on. I, hold on. Put this up. Put, turn off the music for a second. What the heck is he doing? Here, go over here. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a long walk over there. It's like usually everyone else, if they got to lunge at a character, they just, they just like jump. He's got to do this whole marathon over there. <laughs> all right. That's, uh, it's all right. I, I, he's got short legs. He's got, a, he's, got more, he's got more ground to travel. It's a little funny. Here we go. Uh, you know, it works. It works. Let's just make sure we're, we're not going to win this one. All right. All right. 
What rank am I at? I don't want to knock him down, but that's a win right there. So that was interesting. Can we make this work without Grievous, though? Does, does Quill give Grievous more insane amounts of health? Let me double check. I can't remember. I think it's all droids, right? Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. If you are going to use Grievous of Quill, definitely more stars, the better. What's, hold on. What's, Quill, what's Quill's health that he gets? Let me check the website real quick. SWGH.GG to see what his stats are. Because remember, General Grievous, his damage is all based on his health. Based on Grievous's max health. Well, Grievous is already one of the most healthy characters in Galaxy of Heroes. If you're going to get 40% of Quill's health, he's going to hit even harder. Hold on, let's see. Where's Quill? Quill, Quill, Quill! Quill! Do you hear me? What, what does Amanda say? Quill! Do you copy Quill? All right, so, uh... Mm, I mean, this is base health. Here, take a little peek with me. Come here. Just for a moment. Walk down in theory crafting lane. Let's see. I, of course, we're covering it. So we got 39,000 base health. That's Relic 7, Gear 13. Health mods will definitely amp that up a bit more. And I have health primary. So if you are going to use it with Grievous, probably want to give uh, Quill as much health as possible because Grievous is going to hit even harder. That was something we did not consider. And pairing that with T3 and 4, whoop! That's going to be one big hitting monster machine. So keep it in the back of your mind. I don't know if Grievous is going to be the ideal way of running Quill. But nonetheless, it's going to be uh, something to consider. But let's see if we can make this work without Quill. Or I'm sorry, without General Grievous. Because we need him for Separatists. <laughs> Breaking up your Separatists is probably a foolish thing to do. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Uh, uh, Zendle, uh, Endless EA with the $5 chip chat. CLS 3 Baka Quill 3 Pound R2. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff right there. They share their stats. Yeah. Ooh. I, I like that. Hold on. Let me write that down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to forget in a moment, but I'm going to write down on my notepad. Hold on. I want to try this real quick without General Grievous. If you can have a droid team without the help of Grievous, maybe do Jedi Training Ray. Let's say you don't have a good resistance team, but you have Jedi Training Ray and BB-8. Let's just, let's try that first. Let's see, where's my resistance? Uh, resistance, Jedi Training Ray. I pulled off some mods on her, right? Yeah, I pulled off a mod on her. Uh, for the moment, let's, um, what do we need to finish this? This is a weird set I got going on. Potency, uh, just put potency in here for right now. Uh, no, no, I need some speed. I need some speed. I took off my good mods on Jedi Training Ray a long time ago. Grief Karga, probably. Oh, yeah, we could do some Grief Karga testing today, potentially. Could do some Grief Karga. There we go. I don't think we're going to need Poe. All right. Okay. Let's try this real quick. I mean, because here's the thing. Way back when, before I had Resistance geared up, I would use droids at Jedi Training Ray. She was basically the droid to uh, the, the, the android leader for droids for a long time before Grievous got a rework. Mitch Shops, dude, RT2 might scale off of bonuses from Quill. Yeah, that's why we had that uh, endless EA say try RTD to a CLS and three Baka. We're going to try that out after this real quick. Uh, here we go. We're going to do this. Eh. Got to work. So here's the thing. I got... Oh, all right. Well, there goes our... Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, God. We need to work on the mods on that team. We need better mods if we're going to make this work. Oh, yeah. It's been a long time since we used the uh, T3 and 4. Um, let's see. Maybe here. How about this? Let's go and put IG88 in. There we go. Try this real quick. Just real quick. It will do. Yeah, we're, I think we're going to try RT at the moment. I just want to see if you can make a droid team work here. All right. Let's do this. Uh, do you want to get a buff to spell? He's probably going to counterattack anyways. But let's get the debuffs to apply. Oh, give me an ability block right here. Ah, no ability block. Ah, we're going to lose this one. This is going to be a loss. Let's see. Uh, see the, uh, Man, uh, the biggest complaint I have is this is this is a, a dispellable buff. Because uh, L3 is going to lose and we can't revive her then. Hmm. All right, let's just do it anyways. Yeah, we probably should just like... Wow, they got a... Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, mm -mm 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 -mm. I mean, to be fair, three stars. That's a three star character. Yeah, I don't know what else we could do to make the droid team better up against Geos. Lobot lead is actually really good. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> oh, gosh, where is that dude? Where is that dude? Oh, yeah, level one. Yeah, that's how much effort I put into this guy. Uh, he's got the. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know if uh, Jesus with the five stars. Yeah, I don't know. Here, how about this? Let's try Mando real quick. Let's try our, let's try some scoundrels. We're gonna try to CLS thing. I want to see uh, the turn meter boost for. Here's the thing. I, I don't know about him at low stars of droids because I probably he probably needs to be higher stars for droids. But let's say let's start take a look at our future Mando squad. IG Eleven gonna be filling in that last slot. We could probably throw in. I don't know. We could do Boba Fett or let's get Boss. We need a taunting character. Do Boss. Let's try this. Let's try this. Then we'll try the CLS thing next. Can you try Mando, Grief, uh, Quill, Kira, and IGD? Oh, yeah, we can do IGD, couldn't we? Here we go. We're going to open up. Remove some Terminator. I have a very fast Kira Dune. Get a taunt. Fantastic. Let's get that taunt off of him. Start working on the brood. Who do we want to call in? We can't call in Quill. We got to call in a bounty hunter of some sort. So we're going to go. Let's just get uh, Grief for the assist. Can we get a stun, please? No stun. All right, so this is huge. This is going to probably pair well. Grief card gets turn meter boost. So here we go. Watch. We should get 25% turn meter right here. There we go. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. Making pro Look at this. We only have three bound hands, but we are making progress towards our contract. So keep that in mind because we will eventually have IG-11 on this lineup. And we just... Uh, the biggest concern I've had is how are we going to get to the contract in time? All right. Mm, only 50% of the way there. Get some look at that. triple ways of getting turn meter. We got Quill feeding turn meter. Grief card feeding turn meter. And then Mando feeding turn meter with his basic. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here. All right, we're going to temper lose the taunt. All right, now they're catching up here. We need an ability block. All right, we're going to take out Boss. We need an ability block on... Uh... Ideally, Ideally, not going to be bound here. That's right, but IGD it is. Uh, all right, well, there we go. Now it's falling apart. See what happens when you don't get an ability block. All right, give me my turn back. Hey, hey. All right, well, that went very well for a couple seconds. And then... That's why you don't really see me use Mando lead that much. I don't like Mando lead for the most part. Uh, we'll do it one more time, but let's do Boba Fett here. Uh, but so far, the the best thing I've seen with Quill is his stats, amplifying General Grievous. And the, furthermore, the other thing is uh, his turn meter to scoundrels. Other than that, I'm not sure how I feel about him. We probably need to star him up more. But hey, it's Urza Tron in the chat. Urza's got a, a low bot. I don't know if he's going to wail on uh, the the character, but hey, Urza, I got some people saying try low bot with Quill. So uh, if you ever do get Quill, try it out with low bot because I think you got like a Relic 7 low bot or something. Urza Tron in the chat. I stopped by his Grand Arena stream the other day on Twitch. Grief Karga, oh, yeah, Grief Karga is probably better than Mando. That is probably for sure. Oh, uh, let's see. What do we want to do here? Let's just do this. Get that taunt off for a second. All right, we're going to go. Let's get Bob for the assist here. Boom. All right, can we get an ability block? My gosh, it's Curious must have a highly tenacious Geonosian brood because we can't land anything. Oh my gosh, my Quill can't even get an opportunity. Oh man, the low star Quill's not doing well uh, up against Geonosians. Oh my gosh. Yeah, wait, Urz is still alive. Yeah, he quit for a little bit and he came back after a little break from Galaxy of Heroes. Yeah, he came back about, I don't know, two, three weeks ago. All right, well, oh, why, ha, ha, ha. I see that comment. Why am I using Boba Fett with Mando? Very funny. Very funny. I don't want to spoil anything. Um, man, Quill just dies too fast on us. And yeah, that's. I, I, I just want to find something. Flow. First off, how is Curious Mod in this guy? Is this tenacity? Yeah, there, there it is. There's that tenacity set. We haven't landed a single debuff on this guy. 73%. Yeah, that's pretty solid for Brood. Oh. Quill separatist droids. I'm not sure. I'm sure it'll do something, but man, let's try Grief Cargo lead. Change it up a little bit. Let's take out Cara Dune. Where's uh, put him in, put him in. Actually, let's do this. We'll do Django lead. Django. There we go. We'll roll with this for a moment. IG-11 must be really good to make up for this. Yeah, the problem is no one's covering Quill. Keep in mind, IG-11 will have a pre-taunt with Quill. So that's something to keep in mind, but man, he's just way too frail. Maybe IG-11 will make the low star viability of Quill a little bit better. Oh, we got to work towards the contract here. All right, come on, hold on. That's fine. You know, let's just get a lot of burning onto the field. All right, can we get an ability block on this brute? There we go. Man, gosh, that was nasty. All right, turn meter boost. Shoot! A little bit, not a lot. Oh my gosh, yeah, once these Geos get going, man, we're getting smashed. 
All right, here we go. We're almost at the contract. Let's uh, cleanse up. Oh my gosh, thanks for playing Django. He just dies. I never get a chance to do anything with him. All right, we're gonna try CLS next. We'll try the CLS trick. Yeah, Quill is holding this team back. I'm not liking him in this uh, bounty hunter lineup. Ah, uh, yeah, the problem is no one's keeping him alive. That's the biggest problem. Quill, I, I don't want to say Quill is trash. No, it's just one, we're using him at three stars. We don't have Magir 12. We don't have Magir 13 relics. We don't have the good mods on him. And we're missing IG 11. I'm, I'm just trying to see if there's something we can do in the meantime with Quill uh, at low stars. It might not be a low star character until IG 11 gets to the picture. Let's try this uh, CLS lineup, though. We'll come back around. Well, again, we're going to do another round of this once we have him at seven stars. But I've been hoping to find something useful to scoundrels. We still got to try Emphis Nest. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to also, all these characters are going to be stacking up their stats together. Uh, three, three PO. And then we're going to toss in. Where's my boy? Quill. 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 There he is. So funny stuff is happening here. RTD2. Feeding stats to, uh, to the whole team. 3 p.m. Chewy. Feeding stats to the whole team. Although, hold on. Quill won't benefit from... So Quill's not going to directly benefit from the boost that 3 p.m. is giving to the Rebels. But at least Quill will amplify 3 p.m. and Chewy stats. Who therefore will amplify an RT. To, there's, there's, a, there's like four layers of stat amplification going on here. So we'll try it out. Quill of Fortune. Yeah, nice. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, no tank going to get wrecked. Yeah, that's the only problem. We do have stealth. Maybe we can make stealth work for us. All right, here we go. Let's get rid of that taunt first. There we go. All right. All right, so here we go. We're going to give it to... Uh, let's give it to R2. All right, let's go give it to 3-Poc. There we go. All right, let we don't really need the... We can get blind, but Poggle's going to cleanse that in a moment. Unless we get a stun with Quill. Uh, let's do it. Let's just do it real quick. Let's get some blind. Of course, not on him. Uh, I'm going to try to land stun on Poggle so he doesn't cleanse. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. They're doing their thing. All right. We got to get a... We got to control the cleansers. There we go. Work on Poggle. There we go. Oh, no. Don't let Poggle do anything. All right, big hit right here. Let's go. So we should have a lot of stat application going on here. Come on. Boom, 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 boom. Beautiful. Give turn meter. Unfortunately, we got no scoundrels for turn meter boost, but we will be able to give the light side droids their benefits here. Here we go. We got mechanic savvy up and running. CLS whipping around the baseball bat. There we go. Gone. My gosh, Geonosians do not like Quill. That is for certain. There we go. Let's see. Can we get this guy out of here before it's too late? There we go. Almost there. And all right. Got the job done. But my gosh, Quill is just uh, way too flimsy at three stars. I think every battle we've tried so far, except one Grievous droid battle, did he get? He just got absolutely rocked. There we go. Can we get another drive-by, Chewy? One more drive. There we go. We got it. Big hit. Big hit. Big hit. Three, two, one. Light him up. All right. Yeah, I don't know if Quill helped. I don't know if Quill helped that much in this battle. <laughs> I don't know. Not too certain if that's... Uh, not too certain. You could try JTR. Yeah, we tried JTR against this lineup. We got smashed. He might need a different uh, team. Uh, if I had... If I, yeah. I don't know. Is there something else we could do at three stars? I want to. I want to try to make sure we can see the full initial three star viability. Cause not everyone's gonna wail on this character. As I said, probably not a need to wail on Quill if he's gonna be on Cantina for a little bit. What else can we do? See, I like this. This is cool. Uh, I guess here. Here's. Let's let's imagine. When would this be useful? Let's say you got to give up Han and Chewie for something in Grand Arena. You're doing something funny like the gas uh, Chewie trick. Uh, gas Chewie Han Solo. Well, you got some leftover droids. And you got Quill. So that, I mean, he's, he helps the droids be a lot more durable. I don't know if he was that helpful. If he was a scoundrel, maybe that would have been a little bit nicer. L3 and S. Yeah, I want to try that out. Uh, so, I'm not going to gear up my Kira, but let's just play with this idea for a moment. We're going to do Kira lead. Oh, man, my scoundrels are a little bit... 
garbanzo beans. Let's just, uh, for a lack of a better word here. We'll throw an L57, throw a nest, and I just want to see how, because remember, Quill should interact with the scoundrels. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, when IG lives an ally. All right, so that's not going to apply yet. Where's the ability? Where's the ability where he assists off his buds? Or my thing, that's IG-11. Is that IG-11 that does the assisting off um, scoundrels? Yeah, that might be. Yeah, that might be uh, IG-11. All right, let me check his kit. Hold on. Let me, where's IG-11's kit? Yeah, I, I thought Quill was the one that was going to assist. Hold on. Where's IG-11? Let me pull him up on SWGH. GG. Let's see his kit real quick. Oh, he's not a, He's not on SWGH.GG yet. Okay, well, check that. Yeah, that's IG-11. All right. All right, so maybe this isn't going to do much. Yeah, uh, probably not worth it. Probably not worth it at the moment then. I was expecting him to assist. Yeah, um... All right, so scratch that idea. Scratch that idea. Don't like it. If, uh, if he was going to assist, maybe it would have been something. Are we just going to go to seven stars, or do we, should, we, should we try something else? I mean, here's the thing. At, at the minimum, I want to see a, us at least beat a Geonosian team. And so far, Grievous and Seelus have been the only thing to get it done. Vander would be great. Yeah, Vander could revive Quill. That could be helpful. That could be a lot more helpful, but still, uh, I was expecting the assisting. Did you try with Han and Chewie? Yeah, I mean, that's basically what we did here. Here, we'll take out the droids for a moment. Let's uh, put in Han and Chewie. I don't know what in what world this would be better. C3P would be miles upon, or even R2D2. We'll do it for the heck of it. We're just gonna go straight to seven stars. Okay. We might do that in a moment. Let's just go ahead and get the stun right here. Yeah, he would have been gone if that was C-3PO in our lineup. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get the taunt off. Chisoisa. Oh, my gosh. Well, great buff midi, bud. Great buff midi. Well, at least we'll give turn meter to Chewie and C uh, Han Solo. Skrata. Fantastic. Let's just uh, blow him out. There we go. Fantastic. Can we get a uh, stun on Poggle? Oh, you know what? You got to go for it. Hail Mary. Let's go. Go, go. Big hit. <laughs> wow. Quill did so much in there. Uh, hey, Quill fed Terminator to Chewbacca. Maybe that made all the difference. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see if, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's like, here's the, the... Commander Luke just did all the work. I don't, like, is, is I... Is Quill really giving much to the team here? I think we got to focus more of our attention by going back to the droids. I think, uh, uh... I already just got to wait till IG-11 comes out. The seven star. Yeah, I'm thinking we're, we're definitely missing a good chunk of viability of IG-11. This is definitely going to be huge. Once we get IG-11 into the fold, IG-11 does a ton of crazy stuff with him. It would have been great to see at least some three-star viability, but we, we're going to try maybe try out the droids a little bit more. We'll try the droids out a little bit more. Try something mission in Zalbar. Unfortunately, my mission in Zalbar are not optimal. No Zetas, not gear 13. I mean, I could... I already whaled at him, so it's not like... Uh, it's not like uh, I'm, I'm losing anything. We're going to seven star. Quill with IG to Infet lead. All right, we'll try that real quick. Let's uh, get our bounty hunters. I'm almost tempted to bring IG to it up. I think there might be some fun interactions there. There we go. Uh, do that. Uh, we'll give it a shot, I guess, right? We'll give it a shot. Let's see. Quill lead <laughs> SLKR, JKL, and Padme says Connor in the chat. Oh my god. All right. Good, good game. All right. Okay. Here, I'm just going to back us uh, out of this booty ride here. All right. That didn't do well. Oh, when does IG11 come out? In two weeks. Two Fridays from now, he will arrive. All right. Let's just seven star. We already have the shards. I was hoping for a little bit more. I'm thinking there might be some three star viability once IG11 comes to the picture. Let me double check IG11's kit. Is it is the taunt dispellable? That's what I want to know. It's been uh, a minute since I read the kid. Give me a second. Let me let's pull it up. Let's take a little gander so we can see how he's gonna interact with IG11. Uh, but, but, but where's the kit? There's the kit. Hey Gary, bring him on over here just for a second. Just a second. Let's take a little peek. Just a little peek, real quick. Ah! Oh man, the Java juice is great today. Java juice is great today. All right, so hold on. So let's just imagine how this is going to work with uh, Quill. We, uh, let's see. If all enemies are deep, if I just get rid of... Oh, man, that's big. 
That's going to be huge right there. That's huge. 20% protection of all enemies are debuffed just on his basic alone. So if you can keep the, if you can keep the debuffs rolling, my gosh, this guy is going to be thick for days. Deal physical damage to all enemies inflict tenacity down. That's going to help Quill out. Uh, enemies with uh, shockers damage over time, which Quill will help out with, are dealt physical damage a second time. Then he's going to taunt. Let's go. To, let's just go straight to the unique ability here for a second. He gets max protection equal to 20% of his max health. And if Quill's now the eye and gains 40% and gains taunt for two turns, so the taunt seems like it's dispellable. But keep in mind, as we saw of Quill's Frontier Wisdom, this is going to get even bigger because Quill is going to give him 40% of his max health, offense, and potency and 40% of his max protection. So Idol is going to be huge once we get him out. And then whenever another scoundrel or ally attacks, turn, this is what I was thinking Quill had. That was my mistake. I love an assist. That I was I was wanting to test of Ness. So as of now, we can't do that. But when we get Idol, we're going to definitely get, see that in action more. At the start, he dispels all debuffs and droid and scoundrels. That's huge right there. And for each de uh, debuff dispelled this way, I just inflict, uh, inflicts damage over time for two turns. So yeah. As we can see, we're missing a lot. And Quill, I was not going into this. I was not expecting him to blow my mind away. I just was hoping to see some minimum amount of droid stuff going on. So let's let's star him up so we can at least get his stats to increase and make the droids a little bit thicker. And I think that's uh, the most we're gonna probably get out of him today. Uh, Christy Starsky, Newt, Dooku, Droidica, L3, and Quill. Wow, that. See now that could be an interesting Grand Arena combo right there not like super deadly but that could be annoying that could be annoying thank you so much chrissy uh chrissy starsky with the two pound donation to trap uh ig86 here let's just start him up first let's just start a uh, star him up and we're gonna hopefully get his stats to amplify even more and we're definitely gonna mod him for health i think because i really want to show you how crazy general grievous can be and here we go seven stars ladies and gentlemen let's see what he's got what do we what are, what's our stats looking like here oh uh, yeah 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 all right so here we go let's take a look so this is at uh seven stars gear 11 let's go ahead and upgrade it what do we got here Thirty thousand, forty-eight thousand, and let's start uh it looks like we're missing a gear piece over here so you might need to do a mini farming segue here let's see uh, how much of these do i need uh 25 of those all right we just need 10 of these luckily i gotta do my refreshes still today rip 30 shards yeah we, we went a little too crazy if whaler failed today but man i just wanted to pull the packs and see what those drop rates were looking like because man those drop rates were legendary today absolutely legendary all right uh, a little bit more come on give it to me babe. oh come on let's go there we go that's all i needed Okay, uh, oh wait, we're gonna need more of those. All right, so most likely we're gonna have to, ugh. we're gonna have to do a little bit of whaling because we need that, we need the, we need these pieces for this here. All right, fine. Quip it there. We'll just have to get a full piece. But still, we were actually really under budget. Extremely under budget for the day, people. I was expecting $300. We only spent $110, which is insane. Huge, 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 this, uh, I don't know if I wanna say discount, but way cheaper than the old whaler fail episodes all right one more piece of gear what are we needing here we need to get 20 of these uh all right let's, let's get it rolling worst case scenario we'll refresh the shipments a little bit those furnaces are worse than stun guns yeah they're kind of needed for a lot of stuff nowadays needed for a lot a lot of stuff I'm, I'm wondering what they said they're going to be doing some in-game economy changes let's hope they ease some form of the gear crunch in this game yeah, that hurts. Yeah, it is what it is. At least it's cheaper. It's cheaper than our previous episodes. Every uh, stream we do these, we usually are spending... Oh my gosh, I probably should just refresh the story. Just give me what I want! Just come on, just give it to me. Oh, Alright, two more. We're, we're, we're overpaying here. I'm impatient. Let's go. Come on. Come on, just two more. The two more. There's a, the, you got. I, I believe in you. Uh, do you need me to wait? Do you need me to... Oh God! Forgive me, R and Jesus, for I have sinned. Wow, this is definitely overpaying for the last piece here. Ugh. Just give me the last piece. Don't you? Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Hey! Look at me! I was about to say, 
I was about to say. All right, pay attention to the stats, people. CG's laughing at me. See, see what happens. They make the whaler fail pack opening segment amazing, but they, they gotta make up. They gotta make it up some, all right? So we're gonna just reduce his farming RNG. Here he goes. So taking a look at the stats here. 286. We're gonna work on these mods in a second here. Make them a bit more durable. There we go. Oh my gosh, I love the. A little blurg relic. That's fantastic. See, that's not a missed opportunity right there. If you read, I, I can't remember if it was in a forum post or an interview. They originally wanted to give Quill a blurg to sit on in battle. But I guess from an art direction, it wasn't really working out. So they decided to give him a, a, a relic blurg. I love it. I love it. But it would have been great to see him ride a blurg for sure. Yeah, fail or failure. That, that farming segment was definitely a fail. We'll just take him the relic five. I'm not really feeling Relic 7 for him right now. Uh, it was the interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They wanted to do a blurg originally. I would have loved to see a blurg. I was hoping to at least add the eye of spoken words, right? I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Okay, let's fix his mods. Now we have access to all of my great mods here. I still want to stick to this, but I want to try a health set for a second. I want to try a health set. Let's see who's got... Uh, we're gonna, we don't want to mess with Grievous. Don't want to mess with our droids too much. All right, here's what we'll do, actually. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll just go for a speed arrow here first. All right, we're not going to use Luke. Let's go ahead and now look for health, because I want to maximize his health, because Grievous should hit like a monster. That's organized by speed. All right, Bosk. Um, for the moment, I don't... Eh, okay, we might use him later. Okay, we're not going to use Hermit Yoda. Not going to use Hermit Yoda right now. We're not going to use Captain Rex, most likely. And then we'll do a potency set for the last two. I don't care what the stats are. Just give me something. We're going to probably keep him. We might use Jedi Training Ray again. We'll hold the dough as well as hold the dough yet again. All right. All right. See, now that's more like it. That's that's kind of usable now. You know what I mean? Well, we were working with what? We were working with like 26,000 health before. Seven stars makes all the difference. 87,000. What's his base speed? Let me double check his base speed real quick. Because he looks like he's a pretty fast character. These aren't even my fastest mods. I feel like if we did a speed set, this guy would be even faster for sure. Hold on. What's the, what's the base speed we're running here? Quill's base speed is... Oh, wow. 182. What is that? That puts him somewhere in the top 10. Hold on. Units. Here. Come, one, more, one more glance here. Wow. See, now this is... <laughs> This is where uh, unlocking all that extra viability comes from. So Quill's got 182 base speed. I don't know if a speed set's going to be the way to go for him. I'm thinking health is probably what we're going to want to do because of IG-11. Oh, boy. Gary is... Uh, I don't know what he was drinking. It wasn't Jawa juice. Look at that. 182. Let's take a quick look at the top... Uh, what was it? Uh, stats? No, 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 no. Not, not top characters. Where the heck is it? Units... Where is the uh, there's where is the tab that shows the character stats? That's what I want. Speed. All right. So ignoring the Galactic Legends, Tie Fighter is the fastest character. Shakti, Dooku, Wat Tambor, Princess Leia, Ray Scav, Jin, Zam, uh, Resistance Hero Finn, BB-8. Yeah, Quill's kind of in that top ten. Fast. Wow. Right under. Right under BB-8. So. Man, a speed set would be really powerful out on, uh, on him too. Now that I'm taking a look, he's look see at it. Very fast set. Before we were working at uh, okay speed, but this is gonna be a a big difference right here, people. Love it. 182, fantastic. Joseph Spencer, welcome to our Kyber Club. Thank you so much. And Justin Degma, the ten dollar super chat, Grand Admiral. CG will get their money one way or another. This is the way. Hey, they're making money at the end of the day. I can't fault them. They're making money. They're making money at the end of the day. Um. Hey, at least the Cantina Farms, those are great. I, It gives me a little hopeful. One, they're making the free-to-play farming a bit better for new characters, but if they're reducing the cost of packs for characters, and if they're making it easier to farm, my suspicion is we might start seeing that ocean of new characters. It seems like they're prepping us so we don't go into marquee burnout. Because we had marquee burnout in 2018. There's so many marquee characters, but they were so expensive, each and every one of them. And they were so hard to farm. It seems like they're addressing those two things, and that's a whole different story. There we go. I have spoken. Got our mods. Not even our fastest mods. I'm loving the combos they're pulling off here. Let's go back to our droid. Metaloid monstrosity. Remember Grievous. We did a little lesson again. As a little reminder. I know it's been a while. But Grievous should have... A, oh my gosh. He's going to have a massive, massive health pool. What did we put in? It was L337, right? 
Oh my gosh, L3 is gonna be so thick too. Oof. Oh, but Grieve is my man. So he, so Queel, hold on. It's 40% of Queel's health, right? 40% of Queel? 40%, beautiful. Uh, let's see, so he has what? So let's just let's just do a quick math rundown for a second. Just a, just a little, just a little quicksy quick. Quickie rundown, 87, 850, 40% of that. Holy cow, so that's 35,000 health right there. And if we add that to Grievous, and remember, Grievous health is going to be scaling already. It's going to be, yeah, he's going to basically be, he could, he could hypothetically, his base max health at the start could be over 200,000. We're going to be a slightly under that with uh, our Quill modding. And I think I have a crit damage mod on him. Yeah, so I, you know what? Let's, let's fix this up. Let's change it up. Just for the moment. Let's look for speed. And let's do a uh, health health and uh yeah 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 we'll organize it by speed all right let's take it from him for the moment so like now we're gonna be knocking at the door of two hundred thousand, starting starting max health and keep in mind when he's taking turns he's gonna be increasing his max health Woo! i like it let's send him out in let's send him out in could Gigi be a Galactic Legends killer with Queel? Ooh, what if he can... Mm, problem is he's not going to outrun Sith Eternal and like, may, you know, we'll, we'll play around the idea. I'm not expecting it. You know what? Uh, let me see if someone has Sith Eternal on my shard. I'll see if someone has Sith Eternal. All right, so here we go. Starting off, we have to work on... That's eh, fine, whatever. Here we go. Starting off. Woo! Big damage right at the very start here. All right, let's go ahead. Hit him with that. All right. I, I'm still not a fan of mechanic savvy because they're just way too easy to dispel it. Mm, do we want to just get a stun? Let's even get a stun here. Nah. But here we go. Watch this. Right here. Big hit. Oh. Oh, man. Uh, if you want your droid meta... I mean, not meta. I'll be easy. If you want to come back to the attack of the droids, the rise of the machines, this is probably going to be your way of bringing it back uh, one way or another. All right, here we go. Let's keep doing their thing. Let's get rid of... Uh, can we get rid of some fact? He keeps dispelling all this garbage. Here we go. Let's get the mechanic savvy going. There we go. Fantastic. Pop off L3. So far, this has been the best thing I've seen of Quill. At three stars, seven stars. Here we go. Do a little wiggle. They're almost to eliminate Destiny. There we go. Let's uh, just get rid of them so they stop dispelling. Boom! 35,000. Okay. I, we, I really just want to see us revive some droids. There we go. Beautiful. Man, that's the game over for them. Oh, boy. Man, Grievous just hits for massive damage. Out the gate here. Oh, whoo! Hey, that was actually a pretty good hit. Hit for, what, 68,000 right there? That was great. Try RT2. Yeah, I mean, RT2 could definitely stack it up. Maybe we can pull out L337. One last hit for the road. Oh, man. Big damage. I'm, I'm starting to think maybe Mechanic Savvy is more for IG11, but man, it's just a. Uh, keeping it locked would be great. You know what I mean? Different lead. All right. Well, uh, well. So here's the thing we've been trying to make a light side droid team. But uh, mainly just so we can benefit from the mechanic save. But I feel like we're not really getting mechanic savvy to do its full potential. So let's try to maybe go back to the old school. Oh, uh, no, it was ideal. Uh, there we go. Let's just try that. I'll take an L37 just for maximum amounts of damage. Because uh, uh, IGD is going to make us go absolutely insane. Here we go. Turn meter. Uh, we're going to start pull back some turn meter from them. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I, I guess let's do it. Here we go. Big damage right here. Okay. Uh, I mean, keep in mind, I guess there's other benefits as well for Mechanic 7. Not just the revive. Oh, boy. I see. Hey, at least we survived that time. Before they would wreck us. All right, we're going to probably lose teeth through four, which is fine. Grease is going to take a turn. All right, here we go. Boom! Oh! All right, come on. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Give us more damage. Uh, get that going. Uh, what is that? Get gets the burning. Not really going to matter too much. All right, Aizen is going to die in a second. Beautiful. Grievous gonna go. Boom! All right, that's one uh, one Geo down. Come on. Keep it rolling. All right, come on. Take him out. Take him out. See, it would have been great to get Mechanic Savvy to work here, you know? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, just, just absolutely annihilating them. Yeah, there we go. 
Did Quill make it better? Well, let's let me show you what the old meta looked like. Let's see if, if that really made a difference. Take out Quill, and we had Probe Droid in that lineup. Again, the mods are completely off. The turn orders, you got to get BB-8 to go first. And then what is it? Uh, Probe Droid next. I can't remember. Basically, Grievous has to go last. Our mods are completely messed up. R2-D2 and give GG his crit damage. And maybe we'll go back and give Grievous the crit damage. Mainly the point I was just trying to make is that Quill is going to amplify me more. Like, see, Grievous is going truly. We need we need these guys to go first. Our, our mods are completely off. Grievous carried the crap out of that. Yeah, that's that's the whole point of the, the droid meta. Grievous carrying, nothing else. It's all about General Grievous. But I think we don't really need Quill to really make that happen. Oh, let's see. Hold on. Ooh, let's see. Not looking good yet. Let's keep letting him smash away. Come on, Grievous. Get mad. Yeah, here we go. He's going to get another turn. There we go. Take out another droid. All right, they're going to take him out. Beautiful. Goodbye. Oh. All right, there we go. More or less the same result. You know what I mean? More or less the same result. Cobra Jedi, I think you should try a mix of old droids and bounders that is on the, the side. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I just don't think we should expect that to beat this. But we'll do it. Let's do it. No more Grievous. We're done with Grievous. We know Grievous works well with him, works with, well without him. But I don't think we should expect much from... <laughs> these old droids. HK47 not being used as much anymore. Darth Revan's kind of too busy for him. We'll bring in Teeth and Four. We'll bring in that, but um, <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna get much else. How about how about Poggle Lee? Poggle's got some nice uh, uh, droid bonuses, right? I mean, although he's kind of used with Geonosians. Yeah, extra offense, droid damage cover 10% health whenever they attack out of turn or damage a target locked enemy. And then we'll put Quill in there, maybe. Where's Quill? Where you at, buddy? I don't think you should expect much out of, out of this team right here. Let's see. We'll give it a shot. Maybe against, like, some really bad teams so we can make something work. A full IG team. Can we make a full IG team eventually? IG-11, IG-86, IG-88. We'll have a triple IG team. All right, here we go. Uh... Yeah, without BB-8, we're... <laughs> Here's the thing, with a droid team, you need BB-8. bb is the only thing that ever made droids usable. You need that turn meter. You need, you need... B if you want to use droids, if you're not using BB-8, you must be going up against some really bad teams at that point. All right, let, how about we go back to our... Uh... Oh, IG-100, yeah, that'll be four uh, IGs. Yeah, four IGs. IG squad for GA. What about Jangly? Yeah, we tried Jangly, but let's try again. We'll come back. Now they have a, a higher star quill. Let's go ahead and give it another shot. I'll bring him in. Boom, boom. And uh, I like him. Try to get those ability blocks uh, going. Could you try something else than Geos? Uh, here's the thing. Uh, can't beat Geos. All right, well, I'll ask him to put... Uh... Here's the thing. If you're not beating Geos, you're not going to be doing anything too impressive. I mean, Night Sisters. I, I, I don't think they, if they're having a hard time with Geos. I don't. Here, let's try. Let's try Night Sisters. Let's ask if they have a nice sister team. It's just, uh, the thing is, Geonosians are kind of a base level test. If you can't beat Geonosians, you're not going to be really that cool of a team to use. Because Geonosians are kind of like a base level grand arena test. But we'll try other stuff. Uh, but if you're not going to beat this, I don't suspect Quill and Droids are going to beat, like, Jedi Knight Revan or something like that. All right, here we go. Give him the turn meter. Beautiful. Let's go ahead, get a uh, double tap from Django. Boom, 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 fantastic. Can we get an ability block? There we go. So far, Quill not doing much. Holy cow, once they get going, they get going, baby. Let me tell you. All right, we're gonna try a different team. How would Jawa Engineer work with Quill? Uh, just extra turn meter for droids. But we need a fast Jawa Engineer. We need a fast Jawa Engineer, but still, the problem is damage. Who's going to do the damage if you're not going to be bringing in General Grievous? That's the question. Uh, maybe a geared up IG-88. Maybe. Let's see. Are they going to drop it in? All right. Let's see. We're going to... Well, I'll keep testing this until 
they uh, get that going. We have no way we're going to beat a Galactic Legends Rave Quill as of now. No way we're going to beat this uh, lineup. Maybe a Sith Eternal. Uh, let me, does Curious have a Sith Eternal? Let me check. Let's see if Dark Curious has a Sith Eternal. Maybe we can find something interesting to work with that. Uh, I don't think he does, though. I think he has Luke. Yeah, no Sith Eternal. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? Does he have Sith Eternal? No, he just has Ray. Yeah, it might be hard to get that to work against Sith Eternal anyways. All right, well, he's, he hasn't responded yet. He'll respond when he can. He's at work at the moment, so we're going to just keep trying this, I guess, right now. Try Grievous Quill, R2, BB-8, and T3. Yeah, that's more or less what we kind of tried, Andrew. Try against First Order. What type of First Order, Larry? Sith Trio. Maybe a Sith Trio. Maybe, hey, let me, let me, uh, let me scratch it. Let's try, but we don't really see Sith Trio. At least Night Sisters, you might see it on defense, you know? Lobot lead, extra speed and potency. I'm not gearing up Lobot as much as I would love to. Uh, I'm sure there's a cute interaction, but Lobot is not going to be a God tier way of, uh, using him. Here, let's see. Let's just take a look. It's my gosh. Yeah. Lobot. There we go. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, I'm sure there's a cute interaction for sure. I'm sure there's a cute interaction. But uh, I don't know if it's going to be a Geo Killer here. Not gonna, I'm not gearing up Lobot. I, I'd be fine gearing up IG-88. I think there's an IG-88 possibilities. But not Lobot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not Lobot. You said that about Pal? Yeah, but Pal was, it was evident. There's nothing evident. They're just cute things like, okay, 25 speed. Okay. There's nothing evident that Lobot would be something really crazy. Let's see. Did he change anything? All right, we got to keep doing Genosian testing. But so far, nothing incredibly... Uh... Uh, let's take a little uh, another gander. What other scoundrels do we have? The CLS thing was cool. The Grievous thing was cool. Or how about this? How about this? Take him out for a moment. Let's try this for a moment. No, this is, let's try it out. Use Mando, Krill, and three Jawas. All right. For fun, we could do that. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get some uh, attacks going. All right, cool. Let's see if we can get a stun. No. How about a stun here? All right. Hey. Uh, the thing is, Quill hasn't done anything yet. He hasn't done anything yet. He hasn't done much yet. Hey, there we go. Welcome to the party, Quill. I have spoken. There we go. All right. They're, they're, they're getting aggravated. We angered the hive. The hive is coming back. All right. There we go. The hive is... Oh, boy. All right, here we go. Turn meter. Uh, let's get rid of him. There we go. This is the way. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, but the thing, you know, it's like a, a quill help it all there. <laughs> oh, whoo, that's a, that was a nasty hit. Holy cow. Did she have mechanic savvy? I don't think she had mechanic savvy for that hit. Still, nonetheless. Whew, good gracious, girl. Boom. Boom. Wow, there we go. He didn't do much there. All right, Jawas and Quill. Zero synergy whatsoever with Quill, but we will do it nonetheless. Ah, oh, all right, here we go. Just $10. There we go. We'll do $10. We got to do it for Eric, Eric Navas, the 285. Thank you so much. Quill and the Jawas. Let's see. With my horribly geared Jawas, it would make Urzatron cry, seeing how bad my Jawas are. All right, so here we go. We got to for sure have the Nebu the lead. You got to bring him. Scav. Um, if, if I only could pick one Jawa, I, I'd rather take the ability block. All right, let's take the Scoundrel in. Bring our boy Quill. All right, Darth Curious says he's going to do it in a moment. He thinks someone is knocking him back in arena right now. So hopefully we can get him to stay up here in the top five with us. All right. Let's do it! Suka Suka! Let's get it rolling, people! Pull up your big uh, cup of Jawa juice. Let's see if we can make something magical work here. With our Gear 9 Jawas. Oh, wow. Well, there is that. Come on! No! Hey! Just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Hey! No! So close! So close! <laughs> 
I... Oh my gosh. All right. Anyways, we got it. Hopefully we got a Knights of the team coming in. Perfect. We got a team right here. Let's bring back our droids. Uh, let me, let me, let me, let me, give me back. Can you give me back Jawa Engineer for a moment? Just for a moment. If we're not going to use BB-8 for pragmatic reasons. Hold on. 10 speed for Jawa or droid ally. There's this weird... There's this weird voice in the back of my mind that my, makes me want to gear him up. Anyone else getting that feeling or is that just me? Is, is anyone else getting that feeling? Should we take him to gear 12 at least so we can get the good speed on him? <sighs> We're gonna do it? Is it just me? All right, I'm just taking, I'm ta I'll take him to gear 12. Just the gear 12 so we can use good mods. There we go. Hey, you know, we've been saying, we've been wanting to find a reason to gear up Jawa. I'm stopping there. I'm not going any higher. I'm not going any higher. <sighs> That's the highest gear Jawa in my arsenal right now. All right, let's load this dude up with speed. Here's the, I mean, obviously without BB, we're not, we're not really getting anywhere. We got to kind of start thinking outside the box. Maybe uh, Jawa engineer would be the POW that the rebel fighters had and something amazing will happen. Right, we're not going to need you. Oh my God. We're, no, we're not going to relic seven. Eight. We'll, 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 we got to see. I'm not, I'm not feeling the, if we get, if we see something magical happen before our eyes, maybe we'll get a little crazy. We'll give us some protection. All right. And uh, what do we have left over? What do we want to do? We don't want offense really. I want them to survive as long as possible. Uh, no, I don't want to take mods off him. Crit damage. No. Offense, no. Uh, no. I I either want something of uh, offense, potency, health, or protection. What do we got? We, you know what? Take out the offense. No offense. There we go. We'll take it from Thrawn. You guys really want to gear 12 all the Jawas. We got to do it incrementally. I can't. I can't rip off the Band-Aid. It's too much pain, too much suffering. I, I promise we're going to get there one day. I, I, we're going to get there one day. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. And one day we're going to have a gear 13 Jawa team. It's going to happen inevitably. There we go. All right. I like that. 304. I like it. Oh, God, I got to fix the set. Idiot, idiot, idiot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you. I'll take that. There we go. That's what I want. Okay. Anyone want some suka suka? That day is today. I don't know. I need to, I need to feel the energy. Let's see. Let's see. What, let's see if we can come up with any magic right now. All right. So who's gonna be our lead? Oh, let's let's try not to pull out Grievous. Grievous is amazing. We know that. We kind of drove that point home. Let's start. Who's gonna be our third character? No BB-8. We're gonna. Who's our third? Droid? We need one more droid. One more droid. HK. L3, L3's got the healing. Let's try this. And then we're gonna bring in our, our boy. Ooh, B1, that'd be interesting. R2, L, I'm gonna try L3 first. HK lead. <sighs> Man, there's like no damage. Basically we need this. Yeah, yeah, let's put HK in, I guess. Yeah, there's just not enough damage on this team. I think we'll try HK, we'll, we'll mix it up. Oops. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, send him in. Let's see. Come on. Give me something magic. I need something cool here. Ugh, not <laughs> Zam might be so maybe. Here we go. We don't got a BBA. Suka Suka. There we go. We got the Suka Suka going. Let's go ahead and get an AoE. Start spamming the field. Uh, AoE. Ooh. All right. Let's go ahead. I have spoken. Uh, Asajj is going to take away. Hmm. <sighs> I, I don't know if I want to do it right now. If I do it, she's just going to... Well, wait. I'd rather stun. Let's stun. There we go. Just for the moment. Unfortunately, L3 can't cleanse the droids. But we'll get her to taunt. Is uh, Quill going to take another turn here? All right, heal up. 
We're gonna need to do this, right? Uh, allies recover 30%. Let's do it. Heal up. Okay, come on. Oh, man. Quill. Oh, ah! We missed out. We missed out on this is the way. Luckily, the shock is buying us time on her. All right. Come on, do it, do it. This is the way. I have spoken. Okay, she, he's spoken. All right, so there we go. Oh, she just... Man, what do I keep saying? I don't like... I wanted this to be a locked buff, or at least a turn. Not like permanently, but like one turn locked debuff. So we didn't get the revive, unfortunately, because she dispelled the uh, mechanic savvy. All right, so far... All right, now I gotta get a revive here. There's like no damage on our team right now. Can I cleanse? Hold on. Yeah. All right, here we go. One more turn. One more turn. Oh, boy. Come on, bring him back. We can bring L3 back. Come on, come on. Mm. Ah, I mean, Quee would be so much more useful if his mechanic savvy just doesn't get taken away from us. All right, I'm not going to battle this Night Sister team too much. Yeah, I was hoping they would. Yeah, Darth. Perfect. Uh, Darth. Uh, who is that? Darth. Darth Cadus in the chat. They should have made Mechanic Savvy kind of like Plan B, right? With Hera. I think it's called Plan B. I don't know. Whatever. Um, or Backup Plan. That's what it's called. Backup Plan. Where it's not a permanent buff, but it's at least not dispellable. Uh, what other teams can we try against? Should we try Geos again? Should we try Geos one more time? On defense, that is. Yeah. Mon Moth. Oh my gosh, that would, that's gonna be pa uh, paint. Yeah, uh, well, Plan B is a backup plan. Yeah, that, that's the wrong one. <laughs> uh, oh god. Um, what other teams that I'm trying to think? If you can't, if you can't beat Night Sisters or Geos, like. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, Mon Moth, I guess, but there's just too much healing and cleansing going on there. Have you tried Grievous? Oh, yeah, Grievous is amazing. Uh, Quill amplifies his health even more. That's like the best thing we've come up with. Full Mandatee, yeah, we tried that already. We tried Mando. Uh, Quill Solo versus Jedi Master Skywalker. Quill with clones. Plan B is Han Solo. No, no uh, hold on. Who, who's got Plan B? Someone, I, I'm not crazy. Someone's got a, a leader or a, an ability. Hold on, where's Stormtrooper Han? See, I'm not crazy. Someone has it. Someone's got it. Kira and Nasty. I mean, that's different, but Quill's not going to help out much there. Does your uh, Jabba revive droids? Yeah, Jabba, the Jabba engineer revives droids. We just didn't get a, an opportunity to get a revive in. Kira lead and scoundrels. Yeah, the problem is uh, Cobra Jedi. Thank you for the 20. Uh, my my. Kira's garbage. My scoungers are garbage. I need Zetas and the scoungers. Yeah, not, not much can happen there. But I, I see a possibility, but I think IG-11 really would make uh, a better pair with Quill with Kara. Harrison Dula has backup plan. Quill with 3 and 2 Yeah, we tried it. That worked cool. Well, pretty well. Uh, we'll try this again. Let's try a different drawer. Let's maybe try uh, IG-88. At least he's got an AoE that has ability blocks. Let's try that. Only gear 12. Nothing special. We'll boost stats on scoundrels. Yeah, but IG-11 is really what's going to make things really crazy under a Kira lead for sure. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, you know what? We'll do this. Let's give IG-88 the offense up. Can we get a couple ability blocks? Oh, boy. Gosh. Well, so much for that. Oh, my. All right, Quill. It's all up to you, buddy. Get up the team. I have spoken. All right, let's see what we got going on here. That just annoys me so much. If they just would have had that undispellable, we would at least get some fun combos to work. Buff the spell. Maybe take out L3. I don't know. We need. We just need more damage. There's just no one moving the team forward. We need. We we need the damage, and obviously the survivability is not that great. 
There we go, do that. Like, I don't even think we killed the Night Sister once yet in all this testing. All right, can we get Shock here? There we go. All right, let's go ahead. Heal up the team. There we go. Beautiful. Hey, look at this. All right, let's make some progress. Keep the Shock on Asajj. There we go. Cleanse right there. Oh, not going to cleanse that. I have spoken. There we go. We're making a little bit of progress. Let's heal up IGD-8. Ugh. Oh, well. Yeah. Not much to do. Try the droids of GG uh, versus Padme. I mean, here's the thing. Grievous doesn't need the help of Quill against Padme. Yeah, this... Again, I don't want to... I'm not raging. I'm not saying the character's trash. I just love it and really will take this to the next level. But uh, maybe that's what it is. You just, you're not going to get much out of this character. But still, uh, the fact that the mechanic savvy is a dispellable buff is kind of irritating. All right, different team. Let's see. What else can we try out? Um, I mean, we could try Mon Moth. But again, we need, we need a damage dealer. We need a damage dealer of some sort. BB-8 Lee with Vets. <laughs> Quill with Ray, Yeah. Uh, TG just revived. I don't know. Uh, did he? Did he revive? Did, did be, I didn't pay attention. Did T3 actually revive? Scoundrels with Nest Fine. We're not going to get... Quill's not going to offer much, except... Mm, oh, I mean, he'll make Nest... Oh, that's the wrong one. Wrong one. All right, fine. We'll see if Nest can be uh, an ultimate, like, solo character. How about that? I, I, we'll do this. We might bring back the Geo team, because maybe Nas could solo Geos then. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring in Kira Lee. As she's, I mean, she's garbage gear, but we have her leadership maxed out. That's the most important thing. We'll do that, that, and uh, let's just try this. So Quill, as long as he stays alive, he's going to keep Nas extremely thick. So remember, max protection is based on your max health. He did revive. All right, cool. We got our first droid revive. People are going back saying they're seeing it. They're seeing it. Okay. All right, here we go. I've spoken. Not going to matter much. Uh, here we go. Drop a deuce on him. Get that going. All right, give me some counters. All right, let's uh, heal up the team. All right, can we get a shock on the Zom? Here we go. We got the shock. Let's get the taunt off. Oh, no, that was a little overkill. Oh, boy. It's nasty. That's not going to be good. I think if we're going to try out this trick, we probably should do Geonosians. I don't see Ness soloing Night Sisters. Uh, goodness. Probably shouldn't have buffed immunity there. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Drainer Revan. Nest can solo Relic Geos without anyone. Well, I, uh, I've seen it happen once in a while. Thank you for the five Cubs hand fan uh, bucks right there. I would not do it because I've had bad experience with Nest solo Geos. But maybe Quill can make it better. I don't know, yeah. I know Ness ignores Tom, but I'm trying to get it off so the rest of the team can work on someone else. Alright, final redo to battle. Apparently some people are irked that I'm not avoiding the taunt. I'm trying to get the taunt off so we can have Kira call people to assist or whatever. Oh gosh, we're gonna get Ah! Can I How is it they won't let me back out? Like uh... I think we're I think we're due for a quality of life update where we can just back out of battle. Fine, we'll redo it. It's not gonna make a material difference. I was trying to get rid of the taunt so the whole team can do work, but fine. I'll, I'll do it for you guys. I'll do it for you guys. We'll go back. We'll do back. Oh, I like this idea. I like this idea in the chat. Who was it? Hold on. Ba, 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 ba. Who was it? Someone in the chat had a really fantastic idea. Uh, where the heck are you? Oh, KL Bosk lead. With Quill? Woo! That's interesting. Let's, uh, we'll give here. I want to give that a stab real quick. So, Bosk Lee. 
take a look at this. All right, fine. For, okay, let me... I'll redo the nest battle. It's not going to make a difference here. Not going to make a difference, but I'll do it nonetheless. What happened with the CLS thing? What are you talking about, Blake? Did you mean the team? Oh, I would... And we did a quill. Yeah, it did fine. I don't know if quill added much, but it was cool. A lot of stacked up bonuses. All right, so here we go. We'll have Nest work around the taunts. All right, got the play gun, Nest. No bueno. Let's heal up the team. Beautiful. All right, let's get a shock on the Zombs. There we go. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and who's the weakest of them all? Probably Asajj Ventress. Okay. Big hit stunner. Oh, big hit. Okay. All right. She's gone. Let's go. Come on, Quill. Run over there, buddy. I know it's a lot of running. It's a, it's a, far, it's a, it's a far away trip. It's a lot of steps for a little guy like you. All right. Let's go. Oh, uh, well, that's going to be overkill. Let's just do... Uh, Let's just, just do basics here. There we go. All right, Nast. Any time now. Any day now. All right, let's keep... Well, let's go on Asajj again. Oh, here we go. Maybe we can revive L3. As long as I don't dispel my taunt here. Let's heal up first. Okay, let's go. Come on. My gosh. Look, it's like paint giant right now. Big hit. There we go. There we go. Get the counter. Ah! Shock. Oh. Big hit. Get him out. Boom! No, not quill. Get off my quill. Off my quill. Off my quill. Off my quill. That's not going to be that much different than the outcome. I want to try Bosk, though. Bosk lead. Possibly, I mean, at this point, Quill's not in the picture. Maybe Ness could win, maybe she can't, but the whole point is to test out Quill. Not to see uh, Ness is crazy. All right, let's do this. We're going to do boss lead. So here, getting the extra protection, yada, yada, yada. But we have a bigger health pool as a result of Quill for our bounty hunters. And on top of that, then, we're going to have more health to recover in general. So I, I like this, if anything. I like this. Maybe a shock comp. Yeah, maybe a... Uh, Palpatine, right? Palpatine basic. Let's see. Yeah, let's do... Uh, uh, Danger has got an amazing ability to heal the team. Let's try this. So our health pool is going to be a lot bigger now. Whether Saj cares, that's a whole different story. Let's get that taunt off. All right, here we go. Do some work over there. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's do this. There we go. I have spoken. Get some turn meter to our team. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and taunt. Awesome. AUE. Awesome, awesome sauce. Unfortunately, we got to go to the Zombs. All right. Uh, juice up the turn meter. All right. Give me some counters. Right into the zombie. Come on. Give me those counters. Juicy counters. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Oh, there goes the turn meter. Ooh, that's going to get nasty now. Hold on. Hold on to your horses, people. Going to get a little dicey. Oh, stay off my quill. Oof. Can't go around. We need we need Mando. Mando, around the taunt. There we go. Around the taunt. Around the corner. There we go. Beautiful. Ah. All right. We need to get some debuffs to apply. I know we have the, the, uh, the target over there, but we need to heal up. We need to start healing up the team. Ah, screw it. Get rid of the foresight. All right. Here we go. Taunt. Come on, Mando. You're going to die from the plague. Can we get a shock on her? There we go. I'll take it. There we go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Who's got a lot of debuffs? Let's give it to Grief. He's got some debuffs on his basic. Fantastic. Contract triggered. All right. Let's turn this, turn this party around. Oh, that's not going to be good. All right. Here we go. This is what we needed. There we go. Everyone's looking so much better. They got rid of the Rona, everybody. Okay, let's get rid of this dude. Get, get rid of that girl. All right, let's uh, top off the team. Quill is just kind of the odd fifth wheel on the team here. Let's get a stun on the Daka. Let's get her out of here. This is the way. Bye. There we go. I mean, to be fair, 
You really didn't need Quill to beat Night Sisters in the first place. Boss was already kind of a counter to Night Sisters. But hey, you know, uh, there, there was definitely a degree of viability of Quill. We have a bigger max health pool. We had some turn meter. Mechanic Savvy doing some work. So you know what? There was something going on there. Whether or not it was that impressive, I'll let you guys decide. I'll check what you guys say in a second. There we go. Finally healing up. Get rid of them. And you know what? He is a little bit better. Yeah, Bond here's already killed Knights. Again, I'm saying, as I said, I'm not to the moon impressed, but there is a degree of something interesting going on there. At least let's get the shot going. Uh, no, no shot. Can we get rid of her? There we go. They're doing worse in your opinion. Yeah, they, if we would have had Boba Fett, it would have been a lot easier for sure. It would have, that would have been a lot better for sure. Take out Mandar and Dengar, two droids instead. Let's do it. Yeah, let's try it out. Let's take out Mando and Grief. Let's see. If we could do this with droids, I, I'd be a little bit more impressed. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's see. We have IG-88. That's a bounty hunter to help us out. What other droid are you thinking? Oh, I'll take out Mandar uh, and Dengar. Uh, why would you want to take out Dengar? I, I feel like Dengar is fine there. Uh, I understand if you want to take out Grief and, uh, and Car uh, not Grief, uh, yeah, Grief and Mando. Yeah, I just should have had a bounty hunter take. It's a, it's sad that I is not a bounty hunter. A little bit disappointing. Just a little bit. Uh, let's see this real quick. There we go. I mean, yeah, yeah. Droidica? Why not? Why not? <laughs> Why not? R2 for burning? Yeah, fine. Let's try R2 for burning. Keep in mind, there's like no damage dealer. We need a damage dealer. That's the problem. Once you start trying these weird droids, there's like no one putting out the damage. IG-86. I have my gear 12. Funny enough, I do have at least that gear 12, but oh boy. Oh my gosh, we should probably delete that mod. Why is that? You can see, the last time I looked at my IG-86 mods, whoo, it was a long time ago. There, there we go. Off its mod. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, uh, let's, let's, let's give him a fighting chance, shall we? Crit damage? Okay. All right, what else do we have here? Give me some offense. Let's do a crit damage, crit chance. Let's get uh, something of uh, offense, crit damage. You guys know the drill. Uh, Sith Marauder, cool. We're not going to need you today. All right, get rid of that. Stick to this here. What a snow trooper. You know, we'll give it to you. Take it. We're going to make our droids crazy. Oh, uh, we need to hold on. Hold on. Back up. Back up. Back up. Went a little too, little too quickly here. All right. <laughs> All right. Why is your IG-86 a gear? To oh, I geared him up a long time ago. When droids were actually a decent team with IG-86, haven't used them in probably two, three years, but you know what? Still getting work done. All right, you know, let's, we gotta get loose a little bit. Let's take a little trip to the bar. Everyone, get your mugs. We're gonna get a little cup of Jawa juice. Woo! So far, have we learned anything? Has our minds expanded? Have we felt like Queel has enlightened us? Has he spoken? And I think I have the answer so far. I think it's safe to say, people. The answer is going to be a no. Nothing amazing today, but heck, didn't we say? Yeah, I know. I know you had a couple Java juices too many. Yeah, I know. I know. Ooh. But I'm just wait, people. I'm sure Quill, IG11, going to be a good combo. Ah, I'm sure though. There's a there's a little egg, a little suka suka hiding somewhere, in a mudhorn cave. Where there might be some weird combo with Quill with the scoundrels and droids without the use of IG-11. I don't know. Come back, Philip your Jawa juice. We're going back to the command stage. I have to get loose here. Gotta let the, ju the juices in my brain flow. I'm flowing with Jawa juice everywhere, people. Bring them back over, Gary. That's enough. That's enough for them. No, no. Hey, hey, yo, yo. We're, we're, goodness gracious. We gotta wait for the next shipment coming. Don't let them go too crazy over there. Don't let them go too crazy. Bring them back over. Woo! All right, check my 86 mods. Why? Let's check my 86. Oh, crit chance. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. 
not like crit that's gonna make that much of a difference but let's make sure we have it there we go oh there we go i really want to try to bring in jawa engineer back into this team somehow Ah, let's just roll, let's roll this first use embo please <laughs> maybe we'll see all right here we go let's get a taunt going um ooh, uh. all right i've spoken there we go all right big hit oh my Was that 5,000 damage on a critical hit? And on an, oh my god, that was just 5,000 damage, dude. That wasn't even a critical hit, but five. Oh, wow. Trust me, there was a meta where IGD6 was actually useful. One point. Oh. Yuck. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get the point. Let me out. Let me out. Jeez, these sisters are crazy. All right, well. <laughs> oh. That was fun. That was fun. I fixed my IJ86. My 86 has his mods fixed. See, we got the crit chance. We got the crit damage. We're good, but <laughs> not going to matter much. Holy cow. Oh, uh, here. <laughs> so where's, let's bring our back. Where's my Jawa? Where's my Jawa? All right, bring him back in. Let's just try this again. Yeah, I think we were we were, we were running. <laughs> oh, Asaj, you make us smile. Always making me smile. Of course, the the one reason why I brought Jawa in. <laughs> All right, I get the, I get I get what you're trying to say. I get what you guys are trying to say. I get it. I get it. All right, come on. Let's see. Maybe we can make some work. Shock. There we go. We got the shock. All right, here we go. Hit the AOE. Beautiful. All right, come on. Let's get some work done. We're almost there. All right, come on. Stick with me, please. Let's do basic on her. There we go. Yeah, uh, I will say... At least as of now, initial impressions, and I wasn't expecting much out of all the marquees we've tested this year. So far, Quill has just been a bit eh. But I'm sure that would change once we get IG11. Now we're gonna, now we just gotta wait to die here. All right. I'm done testing Night Sisters. They're annoying the heck out of me. Any other fun ideas? Any other fun ideas? Because unfortunately, I feel like we're running low. I feel like the highlight of today was actually the pack opening. That was an amazing. Uh, experience right there but otherwise uh, there's cute little things to work with him but uh, like there's those cute little like, look, so th let's take a little break let's take a look at his kit let's talk about the things I like about him there's a couple things I really do like about him truly where you at I like the turn meter gains for our scoundrels and uh, up here I like the health recovery it's fantastic I like the protection recovery that's fantastic uh, it's doubled for droid and scoundrels, which is great. And the turn meter for scoundrels. So that works very well. Uh, it, it has a use, but for some reason, it just feels like it's not that use, but it's nice nonetheless. I do like mechanic savvy when it works and when it doesn't get the spell. The problem is so far, the two teams we've battled up against, Night Sisters and Geos, when they pull off mechanic savvy, it's like, oh man, we're missing all this amazing stuff that happens. I would have loved to have like a one turn, just a one turn locked mechanic savvy. So at least gives us the chance to enjoy these benefits. So I feel like it's way too easy nowadays. Everyone's got to buff the spell. Everyone and their mother has to buff the spell. Uh, passively, basic, specials. Like there's just so many buff the spells happening around out there. Uh, I also really like his unique ability. Uh, droids recovering protection when they get shocked. That's going to be huge if IG-11. We looked at we, we looked at IG-11's kit earlier today. This is fantastic. We saw it works very well with the boss team. Increasing your health pool works very well with General Grievous and that increased max health right there. We're getting over 200,000 starting health. That's cool. Makes It makes them usable with the droid nuke team. And this is going to be really good. And here's the yeah, Quill can't be critically hit or stunned. That's basically a guard. A chewy guard. 
for Quill and IG11 coming into the mix. I'm sure we're going to see more viability with Quill, but right now, we're obviously missing his better half. It's like a... Uh, it's like try using Mission without Zalbar. You know what I mean? That might be the best way to explain how I'm feeling. Mission's an all right character. He's got some cool stuff. But without Zalbar, you're really not going to get the full... You're really not going to get the full amount of uh, benefit out of them. So I'm feeling that's where we're, we kind of stand right now. Um, what do I mean? If you guys got any other ideas, I'd be more than happy to try it out. But other, as of now, if you can't beat Geos, you can't beat Night Sisters with leftover scoundrels and droids, eh, you know, there's not much to be. Uh, Mod Quill for speed... All right, you know what? I'll give this a stab. Let's let's change up the modding structure for a second. We'll make him the Jawa engineer. Uh, we'll keep that on. We'll keep that on. Let's see. Give me a speed. We'll, we'll we'll make him the Jawa engineer for scoundrels. How does that sound? Actually, hold on. Uh, can you revert that for a second, bud? Hold on. We'll take that from Bastashan. We'll try this real quick. No, keep that on. Keep it on. Keep it on. Take that from Darth Revan. We're order organized by speed. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, keep that on. All right, so we'll try one more thing. So now that's pretty fast. He's got a high base speed. High base speed. You use him with Grievous. Yeah, so far the coolest thing with Quill has been Grievous. That's been the coolest thing so far. The best thing. So here we go. Here's what we're going to do. How about this? I've been seeing people clamor for Embo lead. We'll do it for one battle. And Quill should give us a nice boost of initial turn meter to get the party rolling. For our scoundrels and but we need damage let's not screw around we need damage here let's try this out let's see how this works i think there's something something here because right now we've been modding quill mostly for health but if he's one of the fastest characters so let's take advantage of it see now we can outrun him i mean to be fair my these scoundrels are pretty garbage modded these two at least right here uh let's here we go see we're getting up we got a combo going here all right, let's do this. Already getting stunlocked. Fantastic. All right, let's get rid of the taunt here. AOE, let's go. Okay, Quill, let's get a shock on Night Sister Zombie. Yeah. There we go, counter. Come on, Ambo, you got a cult that worships you. Show them the power of Ambo Lee. There we go. Come on. Oh, boy, that's not good. All right, let's just do basics here. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that animation. It makes me laugh. Hey, we're almost at the contract, people. Almost at the contract. Here we go. Hit that. There we go. All right. So far, so good. Let's keep it rolling. Ability block, okay. All right, let's, uh, we need to get our protection back here. Okay, let's go ahead, uh, get rid of the taunt. Ah, well, there goes Quill. But you see, there's a, if you maybe remod them for speed, we can maybe open up some cooler combos. Yeah, but there we go. Oh, it went down pretty quickly. Let's let's try with it differently. Let's try without Embo. How about we try without Embo this time? Just without Embo. Let's try. Where's my bounty hunters? Let's look at those scoundrels again. One more time. Fault the scoundrels. Let's uh let's try one more time. What does he do? Got to attack out of turn 20 times. I don't like that. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try one more time with this crew right here. Just let's play around with it. Let's play around with it. But I do like this opening boost of turn meter right here that we can feed to the team. Boom. All right. Remove their turn meter. Boom. Fantastic. Get rid of the taunt. It sucks that we, th we have to have Mando and Grief carry all the weight for this team, though. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's heal the team real quick. Basic. Did very good. A little bit of that action. Not a lot of bounty hunters to really get much out of that. Taunt. Let's go. 
All right, take the hit. Cleanse up my grief. Cleanse up my grief. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. Ooh, take the wave turn meter. Fantastic. Can we get a shock? There we go. Shock. Beautiful. Keep in mind, this is going to be more or less the Mando crew. Only two bounty hunters, and then we'll have these three scoundrels over here. Eventually, we'll have IG-11 taking the place of L3. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of the second. Was that the second? I think that was the second revive, right? I think that was the second one. Let's start work. Uh, I, I lost track. I lost track. Let's just keep doing this for the, for the moment. It's just going to be a pain trying to get the contract to trigger on Mando or Grief if you're going to go for a Mando crew. All right, let's uh, let's just taunt for a moment. We don't need the heal. Let's wait for the plague to come back on us. There we go. Let's get grief for the assist. There we go. Boom. All right, that was the second. Oh, push back turn meter. Ah! All right, we got to work on Doc. That was a miss. I lost track of the revives. There we go. Come on. There we go. Start working on Doc. Up. Still working. Still working on getting our contract triggered. I'll uh, just get a toss up. We'll save the heal for later. Basic. Oh, we should have a mechanic cell. Uh, there we go. We have a. Uh, I have spoken. Terminator boost. Boop. There we go. All right. We'll get the heal going in a moment. Heal. There we go. Basic. Okay. Oh, boy. Only 50% into the contract. Holy cow. Come on. Big hit, let's go. Come on, get greedy, get, uh, get come on, come on guys. Oh my gosh, you guys, at the rate you guys are working, we would be broke if we worked by your standards. Holy cow. Talk about these guys just sitting around, just not getting work done. And this was my fear when I read the uh, Quill and IG-11 kids, like, oh boy, is Mando and Grief gonna be really good without having a crew? Okay, let's uh cleanse up. There we go. Come on, we should be almost there. Heal up. Heal up. Basic. Can we just get rid of you? Come on. There we go. All right. Almost to the contract, guys. Can you feel it? Oh my gosh. Come on, Asajj. Terminator removal. Uh, just come on. There we go. We got the payout! Wow! Wow! Oh my gosh! Only took us a couple of uh, minutes to get there. I've spoken. Turn meter boost for uh, health protect recovery. There we go. Ah! Uh, now the question is... Um, how impressed are you guys with this? It's a team. I'm sure IG-11 will definitely, definitely, like, this is the closest we're going to get, I think, to the IG-11 crew for now. It's a team, but uh, it's, it wasn't, like, blowing my mind. The payout took forever, man. It really sucks that IG-11 is not going to be a bounty hunter. That was kind of nice. So, yeah, it was a guy who won. It was durable. We had double cleansing. Double healing. We had a... Uh, yeah, it was okay. I was all right with that. Not blow the one. Let's try it. How about we this? We found a decent team that's okay. I mean, it uses Mando and Grief, but you know what? I'm assuming that's going to be a team. Let's see if we can get uh, Mon Mothma. Does he have Mon Mothma? Let me check. Let's try Mon Mothma here. Uh, oops, oops, oops. Hold on. Let me just see. But you know what? This is really annoying me. I thought we'd need to farm relic stuff. Let's just really quickly farm up some relics. Uh, keep hoarding. We got to hoard hard, baby. So we can get ready for IG-11. Uh, that was all right. I mean, it was definitely annoying. But maybe that could be a good defensive team. Think about it. Grand Arena defense, maybe. But man, Mando and Grief are such a good combo for offense. I don't know. Maybe CG will rewrite Mando's lead. That is a possibility. Who is that? Julia, Julia Ray? Yeah. Maybe there's a possibility they'll do a minor leadership tweak where... All the scoundrels work towards the contract. That would be huge. And now we're talking a different ball game. All right, I was going to see if they had maybe Mon Moth. I don't want to. I'm done of Geos. I've already had a, enough headache with them today. Uh, let's see. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Let's see. Where, where are they rebel? Do they have rebels? Let's see. Mon Mothma. 
Hey, there we go. We do have Mon Mothma. Oh, uh, let's try it. Let's put a heck of it. All right, so let's... What do we learn so far of that? That battle, I was a bit more impressed, mainly because we were able to remod Quill. Although I definitely think we still want to make sure he's modded for a lot of help for IG-11, but at least now... He was able to do that big boost to turn meter right at the very beginning to all right, get the turn the team going. That's the best, best combo I think I've seen so far. Or maybe rewrite the specific scoundrels, like add the Mandalorian tag. Yeah, maybe. Maybe just add a special tag for them. Hey, Jeremy, first time catching you live. Thank you so much for stopping by. At least you're catching a stream where we're starting to like find some more interesting stuff. I don't know if it's crazy, but it's... It's something. We'll see if we can get a Mon Mothma team in there. Um, I'm trying to think what else would be interesting. Maybe we could try... Ooh, Trey would be tricky. Trey would be tricky with all the, the buffs. You should try them up against Imp Troopers. Oh, we don't really see Imperial Troopers on defense. Imperial Troopers are not a defense team. And if you are putting Imperial Troopers on defense, you're missing out on a lot of offensive viability. For sure, a lot of offensive viability. I haven't seen an Imperial Trooper on defense since goodness. Uh, I mean, except the... Uh, we did a, the Sandbox Challenge. It's been a while. So I don't know if we learned much from the Imperial Troopers. Imperial Troopers don't know what they're doing on defense. They don't get the combos right. They're an offensive utility knife. That's what they're mainly meant for. GA today, no. Grand Arena is going to be tomorrow at around, you know, the usual 12, 1. Probably we'll do it 1.30 p.m. Central time tomorrow. That's going to be uh, the Grand Arena time for that. Uh, I'm trying to see if we can get Darth Curious to get another team in here. At least Mon Moth. I would like to see, now that we have, like, a team that's interesting, I would like to try it up against a couple of different things. But... As of now, I don't see... I don't see myself wanting to break up Mando and Grief. I'd rather keep him with Jango Fett or Boss or Aura Singh. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You think they'll put in Baby Yoda? They said that as of now, they have no plans of a standalone Baby Yoda. So the most you're going to get is uh, Baby Yoda attached to IG-11. That's the most you're going to see. That's the most you're going to see for the time. Well, no response yet. Well... How about we take this team, go over to Navarro real quick, and see how this team looks. Let me just try it out. Hold on. Let's try it out. It was cool. It's, it's, it's a nice getting a little glimpse into what the future might look like, but uh, I'm not... Uh, I guess we'll see. Time will tell. Time will tell if we're going to get a lot of big boost of IG-11. I for sure feel like IG-11 is the better all-around character compared to Quill. And then we'll do uh, that. And who was the last character we used? Kara. Where's Kara? Boom. Let's do this. Let's, so we don't have to keep bashing our head up against the uh, Night Sisters forever. All right, so here we go. We're going to get the Terminator boost. Cool. Here we go. We got a lot of Imperials. Wow, wow. The stuns are not really good there, but it's all good. There we go. Let's go start working on Vader. Grief for the assist. There we go. We got Dazes. Oof. All right, let's... Uh, we don't need the heal just yet. Just do that. Do a little dance. Can we get the shock on Sherry? Yep, there we go. There we go. Let's uh, cleanse up the team a little bit. Darth Vader lead is going to make it a little difficult. Getting those damage over times off us. Come on. We need another one of those great stuns. Ah, Derek wrecking our day here. Yeah, no heal just yet. Just do that. Hey, we got the target lock from Quill. There we go. AoE. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's more like it. There we go. Now we'll heal up the team. I mean, uh, Mando's going to miss out. But Sorry, bud. You got a second life. Oh, boy. Oh! All right. Well, yeah, not much happened there. Don't forget your GA defense. Oh, don't worry. We're most likely just going to auto-deploy. <laughs> or I'll, I'll, or uh, in the next 30, 40 minutes, I'll put something down. I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. Worst case scenario, it just auto deploys the next round. Did we get a new team? No. I'll give them about five more minutes or so and see if uh, we can get another team in here. If not, we'll leave it there. I'm not expecting crazy stuff. But the only thing is, I'm, uh, I'm a bit worried. With IG-11 not being a bounty hunter, how are we going to get that contract to trigger on Mando? It's, it's, it feels like it's so slow. It took us, what, three minutes to get the contract triggered? Cobra! Oh, boy. Cobra Jedi at the 20. Boss Glee, Dr. Revan. IGD, R2D2, and Quill. <laughs> you had me until you started talking about Darth Revan. What's the idea of Darth Revan? Because that's a that's a big ask. That's a big ask right there. 
Unless there's a, a little funny thing I'm not I'm, I'm missing out right now. Video might be a special ability for uh, IG-11. No, so IG-11 here, if you guys didn't see, I mean, we did the kit reveal already. Uh, it looks like there's no Baby Yoda ability, unfortunately. It's, it's, it's unfortunate they didn't add... It's unfortunate they didn't add any of those. So if you go back to the, the kit reveal... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are you? Where are you at? Where are you at? They show you all the ability animations, and it seems like none of them, unfortunately, involves the child. None of them involves the child. Real quick, bring them on over, and we'll show you what we got. Yeah, they show you all the little animations, and Baby Yoda, just he's just kind of chilling there. Yeah, see, basically, I, I, IG-11's got some really cool stuff. I'm really looking forward to it. See, see, at least he hides. Oh my gosh, he looks so cute! I love it, but as of now, he doesn't do anything. He's just kind of chilling. It would have been great. Like, this ability, I'm really looking forward to. He has a unique ability called Child's Favor, but none of his actual animations are uh, Baby Yoda stepping into battle at all. So that's unfortunate. I was really hoping... For a little bit more Baby Yoda synergy, but we're not going to get it there. All right, Curious, you're our only hope. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Hop in here. My goodness. You know, it's a... All right, we'll wait. We'll wait a few more seconds. You know, it's a little unfortunate. Uh, ever since Capital Games took test accounts, like, here's the thing. I don't mind paying for my characters. I don't mind farming my own materials. Like, I'm cool with that. I can afford it. I'm very fortunate because of you guys. But I will say the best, the worst thing I miss, or the, the thing I miss the most about them taking away our test accounts is the ability to just have someone at the ready to battle with you like over and over again. Like the, the sandbox thing was there at that point. They have test accounts, unfortunately, but they won't give, they, 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 they won't give them to me, Cubs, uh, Heinze, Urza, Gridden, DB Official, Skeltrix. They've only given test accounts to like three people, the Operation Metaverse, the Galactic War Report, and uh, some of the people at uh, SWGUH events. So like they have the test account capabilities. Like, man, that's the one thing I miss. That's the one thing I miss. I'll pay for all my characters. I'm fine with that. I'll be, I'm fine with that. But man, just like the thing I miss the most is being able to set my own defense and just like do like 30, 40, 50 battles in a row without having to stop much. We can mix things up a lot faster. Offense, defense. I appreciate it again my shardmates taking the time to do this. Seriously, what, what me? I would not be able to do this right now if it wasn't for them. So, major thank you for that. But I will. I just want to put out that's the thing I miss the most. That's the thing I miss the most about test accounts. And plus, being able to play against mobile gamer and Cubs fan Han. It was a lot of fun being able to battle each other and have some friendly competitions and stuff like that. But uh. Hey, at least I guess Galactic War Report and Operation Metaverse has it. At least they got it. Let's see. Still nothing. We'll check one more time. Anything, please, Dark Spirits. You're my only hope. You're my only hope. And... All right. I think we're not going to get a response. I think he's... They're busy at work. They're, they... And that's fine. They don't, they don't have time to sit here to keep putting teams in. I'll, I'll rant for like two more minutes here. And then we'll close out the show with that. But I don't think we're, there's that much more to discover. But so far, the most I've found, General Grievous benefits a lot. The, the future Mando squad might be an okay team. I think Mando's going to be much better off somewhere else, though, in Grief Karga. But IG-11, we got to wait. IG-11 is going to add a big boost of viability, I think. Try a solo plus Quill. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, that'd be funny. Uh, Kira, Young Hand, Chewy. Yeah, I, I'm sure there's some cute scoundrel things, but I'm not expecting to seize the part. If we we're going to use a scoundrel, team, I'm expecting more or less what we saw off the Mandalorian crew. Uh, I think that's what we're going to kind of... Um, I think that's kind of what we're expecting. Uh, why does CG pick the YouTubers at the smallest following? Uh, well, first off, that's not entirely true. And that shouldn't matter really what your following size. There's a lot of great channels, not a lot of followers. Uh, DB Official, uh, Gridden, uh, Heinze... Uh, it's just Ian. There's a lot of great, uh, th but there's a very specific reason why uh, I'm not going to get to it. Why Galactic War Report and Operation Metaverse have test accounts. And uh, it's been kind of like that for a while. This isn't anything I think people are like surprised. Like, wow, Capital Games is talking to them. They've always been kind of in Capital Games' as, uh, friend friends list. Let's say that for quite a while now. Uh, it's nothing that new to be shocked about. Uh, I'm not going to. There's, there's actually a little bit of backstory with some... Uh, uh, you know, I'm just going to... Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter what your following size is, and that's not the reason why they were picked. There's, there's other reasons behind it, and it's good that they have it. It's good that they have it. But I think they should definitely open the bridges a bit 
and at least talk to all creators you know like it's fine you know if they don't want to talk to me, that's great but we have so many other great content creators as like i said ian heinzy uh i did db fish all those people out there maybe they're working on it i have hope that doge is working on it but the only reason why i don't have that much hope because you know i reached out to doge fed i reached out to crumb you know like i reached out to doge fed saying hey congratulations on the new position and you you think the, the polite thing would be to respond back i know they got the message I actually have their personal phone number, but I'm not going to go on the, 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 I talked about that. I, I met Doja Fett way back when at Capital Games. We actually texted each other for a brief period of time. And about a year ago, we uh, talked quite a lot back and forth. Um, and I just, I sent a text and said, hey, congratulations on the position. You, you, a simple, hey, thank you. And that's all. I haven't heard anything back. I reached out to Crumb the other day. I had a question uh, and I want to talk a bit. No response. So I'm hopeful that maybe they'll work with other creators and that'd be fantastic to work beyond Galactic Warport and Operation Metaverse because I'm not surprised they're working with them. There's specific reasons why they're working with those guys, but it would be great to see them start working with all the other creators. There's so many other communities out there that want to have a more direct relationship with Capital Games. You know what I mean? Could it be the company policy that the company is just blacklisting content creators? That could be the case. I don't know. that They haven't talked to Cubs either. I don't know if uh, Urza trying to try to reach out. Um... But uh, you know what? It's a, it's a weird situation. It's a weird situation. And maybe the future will be better. They, I've been seeing great steps forward in regards to the community at large. And at the end of the day, that's what I care about the most. Is seeing everyone be happier. We're seeing a little bit more community interaction. We're seeing Doge Fett doing an amazing job interacting with the community. A lot more posts, a lot more clarification. And just that community interaction has been gone for a while. And then looking at what they've been saying, it looks like they're trying to move forward and expand their community interaction because someone actually messaged uh or tagged doja fed on tw uh the forums saying hey can you guys start doing what you know start working with a lot more content creators because right now the community manager for marvel strike force is doing a live stream with mobile gamer on twitch and it was a huge turnout and doja fed says they're they're trying to get to a point like that so we'll see we'll see but the point is they didn't completely disband the content creator program they just have very select few people in there for the past couple months give or take all right, one more check. Did Curious get to us? All right, Curious is at work. That's fine. Thank you, Curious, for at least getting those couple teams in there for us. We did learn a little bit more to learn once IG11 comes into Galaxy Bears two weeks from now. And then uh, David Lowe uh, uh, catching the tail and all hail the Empire with a $5. And Cobra Jedi, the shock. I don't know. That's why. Fine. Well, you know what we'll do real quick? We'll do this just for Cobra Jedi. He wants to see the shock synergy happen here so here we go just real quick just we're gonna do uh boss lead we'll do uh where are you at where are you at uh dr revan and then we need igd where's that droid igd8 rtd2 and quill droids where's my droids just for the fun of it you know it doesn't hurt might as well just wrap it up with something kind of funny and then we need uh dr revan bring him on in bring him on in all right real quick one more battle one more battle. Just so we can see the, the fun little synergies here. Bring them on over. Ah, man. This Jawa juice is amazing. So here we go. All right. Let's go ahead. And we're going to just throw up the shot. And give it to Bosk. Any day. Oh, I took off Dr. Revan's mods. That's why he's so... so like, normally my Dr. Revan is 330 speed. I forgot we ripped off some mods for Quill. Okay. So the reason why we're doing the shock is that Quill and Droid allies recover 20% protection whenever an enemy is inflicted a shock. It's a funny little combo, Dr. Uh, Darth Revan, but, uh, you know, whatever. We're just going to wrap up some silly battles right now. That's all we're going to wrap up with here. And then hashed uh, Tagger with the 199. What's your 3 3 ray counter? Oh, I made a video about it the other day, my man. Uh, the, the counter is um, SLKR, Pux, and Thrawn. That's kind of the go-to for a Ray. That's uh, that's the way to go. Yeah, we made a whole video. Check out the video today. We talked about how uh, you would go about all the Galactic Legends out there. That if you come across them all in Grand Arena, which is... Uh, that'd, be, that'd be scary if you had to do that. There we go. Man, we got to fix our Dark Revan. <laughs> Got to put my mods back on him. He is way too slow right now. I took off all his good mods. He had 330 speed. He's probably like 100 at this moment. There we go. Get the shock. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. we. I'm sure this would get the job done normally, but 
There we go. Let's see. I've spoken. There we go. Oh, Night Sisters. There we go. We're going to do that first. We'll do that first. And then we'll do the shock again. All right. There we go. Shock. See, look. Boom. Look at all that. And too bad Quill's gone now. All right. All right. We're going to wrap up with, with that right there gonna leave it right there my friends uh, that was a little funny little trick uh, i wonder if there will be some interesting shock synergies uh going forward I mean, so there's a lot of definitely a lot of emphasis on shock for this team so it's gonna be kind of curious to see how it's gonna work i'm sure ig11 is gonna make all the difference blaze the saint 1983 wrapping us up here with the five dollars glorious empire drink jawa juice whale heart and stall harder great grand eternal admiral oh i like the way i like the way that's sounding right there Woo! all right Oh, yeah, I had fun. Nonetheless, character wasn't too exciting. I've seen more exciting characters. Not the coolest uh, character that we've had in a while. But nonetheless, we've learned some stuff. And at the end of the day, I had an absolute blast with each and every one of you guys. And man, that Whaler fail. I'm hoping the Whaler fails moving forward are going to look more like that. If characters could stay around like 100 bucks, that'd be fantastic. That would be fantastic. Oh, I meant non-GL Ray counter. Uh, not a lot, my friend. I talked, I talked about that in that video, too. I said there's really... For 3v3 raid, there's, unless there's no taunting character, if there's L337, your Darth Revan won't work. But if there's no taunting character, you might be able to make Darth Revan, Thrawn, Bastashan work. Might. Not guaranteed. Really, Galactic Legends Ray 3v3 really has no 3v3 non-Galactic Legends counter. It's really Supreme Leader Kyle Ren, uh, Jedi Master Luke. I'm sorry. It sucks. I didn't make the rules so far. The only Darth Revans I've seen are Darth Revans against bad raid lineups. If it's a uh, if it's Ray with Resistance Heroes Brothers, that's gonna be rough. If it's Ray with Han Solo and Chewie, that's rough. Ray with uh, L337, that's rough. But if it's a bad Ray team like I don't know Ray Holdo and Jawa Scavenger, Darth Revan would probably get the job done with Thrawn. But other than that, there's really not a not. That's why Ray's the best Galactic Legends defensive team in the game. Not a lot of three v three counters. Not a lot of uh, 3v3 counters right there. All right, people. As I say, it's always great to be in the Empire today with you. Even though the characters might not be the most exciting, we're still together nonetheless. We're going to hit the Kyber Club. Fill up your Jawa juice. The biggest mugs this galaxy has ever seen. All right, guys. I'll meet you out over there. Woo! I said young man. And droids. And Gungans. I'm sorry, Joyce. Quill, his mechanic savvy is not really helping you guys out, but maybe next two weeks, IG-11 is going to get in the game. And we're going to see a lot more droid action, baby. All I want you to guys know, no matter what part of the galaxy you might be in, you're a part of the biggest, the best, and the most amazing community. Hyper Club, open 25-8, sing it! need to enjoy you can hang out with all the drugs and by today and by today you can have a good meal i love you guys